Yeah, I don't know. It seems like it's still doing it, but since this surge burst seems a little more steady. I don't know, maybe it's something on my end somewhere. I don't know what it would be, because I've turned all the things that could possibly do that off. But, eh, I'm just gonna move on. We're gonna keep going. We're just gonna go. Right, so we're on day 357. Professor Layton, no. Katriel Layton, doing this case. Investigating. Investigating us, ourselves. Is that a conflict of interest? Seems like a conflict of interest. Let's do that. <laughs> ah, the start of another lovely day. Ernest, pour us some tea, would you? Oh, yes, miss. You seem to be in a good mood this morning. Have you had some good news? Ah, uh, you noticed. Isn't that obvious? I thought I was managing to hide it. I don't know why I would handle it. 357B. <laughs> uh, like a poker player, you know. You were humming. Loudly. Oh, well, you know, I popped into the Lucky Clover up the road yesterday. You know, the, that boutique. And they had the most delightful hat. I just couldn't decide if I should buy it or not. And the answer is clearly I should buy it. The answer was buy it, right? The answer was buy the hat. She's just about to close to me, so I had to leave. I've been thinking about it all night. So you didn't buy the hat. In the end, I decided I'm going to splash out and buy it. So it's time to- Okay, so we are buying the hat. Okay, good, good, good. Get me a new hat. Get new- Cheryl, hats are great. And new ones are greater. It's just what we do. I'm very excited. I'm sure you're gonna look stunning. Oh, thanks. Oh, by the way, have either of you noticed there seems to be a bit of commotion going on outside? Oh no, we're not gonna get- We have a whole case where we don't get our durian popcorn and now we're not gonna get our cool hat. That's what this game is about. Not getting the things that you promised. I can hear some voices. Oh, there's a crowd. I wonder what's going on. Ooh, maybe we should go investigate. On our way to the hat store. Where we get the hat. Oh, everyone seems to be gathering outside the Lucky Clover. Somebody else bought the hat, didn't they? I don't see any tails wagging. Looks serious. Can't really see. Wonder what's going on. It's late. Look, there's a policeman. Oh, we're totally not getting this hat. The police are on the scene. Some kind of incident must have taken place. Oh, yes, I dare say. Gosh, let's go and ask some of them people. You! I'm in the morning... Right in the throes here. Big news this is. Very newsy. This didn't make the front page of the morning. I'll be Monkey's uncle. Of course, I gotta write the article, but you know, hang on. You're the lad from the Leighton Detective Agency. Yes. Also, Katriel is here. The, the one who runs it. And Miss Leighton. Yes. Yes. Have I... Oh, it's her! Miss Layton's here, look! Our hat was murdered? Oh no! Not our hat! Hey, Ropes! It's her, the woman herself! It truly be? Open bracket. Personally, I don't believe it. Close bracket. What have you done? Everyone's practically jumping out of there. See, this is why you should have bought the hat last night. Everybody knows you didn't buy the hat. And now you can't do anything about it, because the hat's been murdered. I know, I have no idea what's going on. I'll just go ask one of the police officers. I don't think that'll be necessary. Someone's coming over. Look, I don't believe I've ever seen him before, have you? Wow! Wow, his face is on par with, um, oh, what was that anime with all the, the boys with the really weird angular faces that were drawn weirdly? Uh, it was like a super short show, too. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I will read your words, Chief Inspector Britannius. Oh, Miss Katria Layton, I believe, of the Layton Detective Agency. I'm not daring it down very much. It was, it was like, uh, I 
think it had the word Gakuen in it. It was it was like a dating sim type show, but all of the drawings were of like really, really weird, like strange angular faces as if it was done by somebody who uh, can't draw, and then they had that weird episode where they drew them all bishi and stuff. And it was just like, no, this was a choice. Gaku and Handsome, yeah, that one. Hey, Matrix Knight. Uh, yes, that's me. Don't believe we've ever met. Britannius is the name. Chief Inspector Britannius. I'm from Scotland Yard. Ah, oh, well, that's nice. So crowd here. Anything, anything good going on? Don't speak to me. It's against protocol to converse with suspects. I mean, I would assume that you would talk to suspects. That's how you make them not suspects or the people who did it. Sometimes. Suspects? What? No, I... Ketro Layton, I'm arresting you on the suspicion of perverting the course of justice and not buying a hat. No, you can't arrest Miss Layton. No, Cheryl, it's it's like the pound, but people can't adopt you out of it. Just a moment, please, Chief Inspector. What am I even accused of doing? Why are you arresting me? Not buying a hat, that's what. Poor Lise. Your specific of the murder. Wait! No! Where? How will I get good hats? Yeah. Oh, Gekko and Handsome, you are... You are a thing. Miss Price? The Lucky Clover? Murder? Are we allowed to have those in this game? Murder? Case 11. Actually, I wonder if I can... Uh, uh, yeah! I did, for a second. Where'd it go? see how, like, it's not quite the level of pointy chin, but it definitely there. Definitely there. Hairs more like, like this one here. Yeah, that guy in the corner. Alright, take that off now. Hat faked its own death. Impressive acting, but don't you think you're rather overplaying it? I know you did it. I didn't know anything about this until just now. Oh, really? Well, perhaps this little persist will jog some memories of yours. This morning it was reported that the proprietress of the Lucky Clover, Miss Clover Price, was lying motionless on the floor of her boutique. Police rushed to the scene, but the victim was already dead. Ah, uh, no, no, Miss Price. We've managed to pinpoint the time of death as yesterday evening, and we know how much you did not buy that hat. And according to witnesses, you, Miss Layton, were seen entering the shop at that exact time. Wow, you guys have some really good pinpoint accuracy on your death clocks. So, darling, what more can I tell you? Obviously, it was you. Well, I mean, I did go there yesterday. I was thinking about buying this hat, and I totally didn't. <laughs> hey, Kavita, thanks for those cheers. <laughs> those chins killed me. Goodbye. <laughs> I really... So, Gatko and Handsome is hard to watch. <laughs> because of how it is... How, how, how of those drawings are. But there is an episode where where they like, and they're very short, so I, I do kind of recommend watching it. But there is one episode later on that I think should be watched, um, even if you don't watch the rest of it, uh, where they do like an art class thing and they draw each other in different styles 
and then they change into those styles, and I think it's really funny. Miss Price was perfectly fine when I left, even though I didn't buy the hat. You can carry on lying to me down at the yard. Constable, take the suspect in. Don't I have to at least do a puzzle first? Or, or make you do a puzzle? Because we had a conversation? Yes, sir, Chief Inspector, sir. Miss Layton, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to accompany me to the station. No, Miss Layton isn't a criminal. This is madness. Ernest is right. Please hear me out. Come quietly. Or I'll have to cuff you. Do this puzzle, and then I'll let you cuff me. It's super hard. Or not. I guess I don't get to give out puzzles in this game. Seems like a fun twist to me. Make the AI work hard. Cuff me, but I'm no killer. I was following procedure. Flogging a dead dog. Ooh. No. That was that was a weird thing to put in there. This must be the scoop of the century. The same detective Cato Layton accused of murder, and I thought nothing would surprise me anymore. Oh, uh, looks like they're determined to pin this on me. Or, you know, to take you down to the station for, like, questioning. Like, how murders work, I think. I mean, I don't know. I've never been near a real one. Alright, everyone, stand aside. Britannius, what the dickens is going on here? Well, well, what a surprise. Not I thought you'd be making an entrance before Long Hastings. Come on, what evidence have you got that she did it? I was expecting you to protest her innocence, seeing as how she solves the majority of your cases for you. I'm not protesting anything. All I'm asking is what proof have you got? I'll get proof. Just as soon as I get her in the sweat box back at the yard. That's not warranted and you know it. What's with the strong arm tactics? Oh, I can't hear you. Must be because I'm in charge of this investigation. Nah. That's a really... It's not a good idea. You might be in charge, but I'm not going to sit back and let you get away with coercing a suspect. Looks like there's a bit of a dogfight going on. I have a nasty feeling that if I let the Chief Inspector Britannia arrest me, I'll be on a one-way track to jail. So, I think I'm just gonna make my excuses. Bye! Oh, I really wanted her to, like, run and there to be a puff of smoke behind her. What are you doing? Not trying to skip town, are we? Oh, bother. I'll distract them. Run while you can! Thanks. Your lifesaver. For you miss any time. Sorry, Chief Inspector, I can't let you pass me. If I wave my arms around, it's like I make an invisible wall. Trying to protect her, are you? I don't think so. No, no, can't get past me and my flaily arms. Ah, he's right, sir. I can't get past his flaily arms. Catch your late and stop right there. Sorry, I've forgotten how. Where are you even going? No idea. Huh? As far away from here seems like great. Let's go that way. Now we're on the run. Well, this is thrilling. Also, we could just stay here and look around the whole thing and try to talk to people. That seems like a bad idea. We're not doing that. We're smart. We're leaving. Oh, now where do we go? No time to stop and think. This is a race. We have to stay in the lead. Yeah, I know. I'm not used to being the one who's being chased, though. I'm usually on the other end of this. Ah, pleasure to see you again. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to listen, but you were being chased by the police? Go to Lipsky's. They will help you. Good idea. We'll go that way. Don't let them catch you. No one who appreciates fine food as you do could commit such a crime. Oh, I don't want to break his ideals of how the world works. Thanks! Be careful. Lucky that he likes you. Yes, all the eating here is paid off. Never thought your overactive appetite could get us out of trouble. Anyway, no time for yapping. Hightail it. You're right. 
can't afford to let them catch me. They think I'm a murderer. And that's a clue! A clue! A clue to the fact that murder happened! A clue. We found a clue. Finding a murderer is not a clue. That's the problem. Yep. Better keep going. Well, we made it this far. Fugitives, how did we end up in this mess? I hate needing to flee. One's bad enough. Oof. Oh look, Alex and Hans are both here. Let's ask them if they have any good ideas. Maybe they'll know if we can slip away out here unnoticed. Oh no. I'm trying to run. Don't make me do puzzles. Oh, detective, I hear news. Me and Batsy have been worried. Uh, you are a murderer? Police are saying this. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about that. I gotta run. Also, not a murderer. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, we know you not killing, woman. Oh, cool. That's great. It's nice that you believe in me. We want to help. The police are chasing her. What is the best way for her to escape? Uh, hmm. Oh, I have idea if you can work. Here, pu puzzles. A puzzle help escape. Can you find your way through the maze? To get from the starting point at the bottom left to the goal at the top right, you need to break through one section of wall. Slide the circle over the section of wall you think needs to be destroyed. Alright. Alright, we need to get here. So... If I go that way, that's two sections. So it won't be it won't be that one. It'll be this one. No. Can I get to there? I can get up here. I saw it and then I lost it. Yeah. Somewhere. Not that way. If I go this way. Yeah, it's here. I think that was it. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. They do call me Sherlock Holmes for nothing. He said his name out loud and it sounded bad. Sherlock Holmes for nothing. Yeah, we found it. I'm not sure how this helps us escape exactly. Yes, you try plan. I think police not catch you this way. I think you were telling me to break a wall. Wait, your plan will not work. Why do you say this? You have a better idea? You always being the smart. Oh no. The fighting. If detective wants to escape a police, this is better way. Oh no, am I gonna get another puzzle? Ah, no, I'm trying to run away. Stop giving me paperwork. Can you find your way through the maze to get to the start? You need to break through two sections of wall. Yes, even my plan is better. It involves two sections of wall being broken. Ah. You cannot destroy the corner section of a path. Slide the circle with the section of the wall that you think needs to be destroyed. Okay. Uh. I go this way, and this way. That's not going 
going to work. If I go this way and then this way, that looks like that'll work. That was this one. This one? What did I do? Nope. Slightly down. This one. It's correct, right? Up that way. And that, yeah, that seems right. This puzzle's got some bite. I ain't nothing but the hound dog. Oh, you did it! Now you can do it by breaking two walls. Next time, we'll have you break three. Maybe after that, just break all the walls. That's a plan that lets you break two walls instead of one one. One wall is far more smashing than the first. No, oh, yes, you solve puzzle. This is a good way. Wait, your way not working either. Oh no. What must she do then? How does she stop police from catching her? Maybe we need new idea, not running away. Something else. New idea. Ah, I have answer. What are you thinking? We hide detective and dog in shop. In place police do not look. Hide us, but where? In here. What do you think? In there, really? I don't know. There's no time for arguing. In, in, in. Well, Alright. We're hiding in... The mystery pocket space. Have you considered just hiding in a place where no one can see you? A fourth dimension, perhaps, or even a fifth. A kind of pocket dimension, if you will. Have you tried that? Hello, 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 what have we here? Two likely lads. Haven't seen a certain catcher late in by any chance, have ye? Detective from agency down street? No, oh, yes. No, yes? Are you taking the Michael, sir? Come on, spit it out. Where is she? She came through shop and exited through back entrance. She went out through the back. Ah! Out the back! Are we in the oven? Because I don't- I don't feel very weird about that. Ah, they're gone. Detective Doug, you come out now. Oh. We're in your weird chocolate teddy bear. That seems- Strange, and your bear is much more, uh, intact than I expected. Oh, that was a real struggle. Sorry, inside of giant teddy bear was too small. I remember when I made this teddy bear cake. There was big space inside, but not big enough. Oh, it wasn't too bad. How long has this cake been around for, though? Like, it, it, it seems... It's been around for a while, and I wanted to eat it, but at the same time, I don't know if it's good anymore. I thought she was going to start nibbling at any moment. Alex Hans, thank you so much. Really throwing the police off the scent. It's nothing. Happy my giant teddy bear cake is useful. Still cannot believe Clover Price was killed. Such a sad day. She's a very difficult woman sometimes, but I don't think people have problem with her that makes them kill her. No, I know what you mean. Same thought crossed my mind, too. Who could have wanted her dead? No time to think of this now. Police are behind shop. Now it's a chance for you to escape. Yes, you're right. Thanks. Bye. I have a new clue. That clue is... Killed out of spite. I don't know how we determined this. Our first clue was that a murder occurred. So I'm expecting clue number six to be who did it. She pulled up Paper Mario, turned sideways, and stuck between the bookshelves. That's pretty good. I mean, they do look pretty flat. But only sometimes. Alright, back out into the street, where no one will know who we are. Where to now? Uh, 
Oh, to the river. The, the, the Thames? Yeah, fishing. That's a great idea. No, look, there are police searching for me everywhere. If we don't use our heads, they'll find me. That's why I'm suggesting the river. We can get on a boat, and we can get far away. No, a boat's actually a good idea. Yes, I'm impressed with myself, too. Alright, to the river we go. Oh, they want me to take the bike. Brother said the victim probably wasn't killed out of malice. Yeah, that's like our reasoning was just like, I don't know why anyone would kill that person. So, out of spite it is. Well, we made it this far without being caught. The wharf is on the other side, over the bridge. Alright. Hmm. Finally we made it. We can't breathe a sigh of relief yet. Look, there's a policeman on the bridge. Do you think he's looking for us? Uh, not sure. Let's just stay out of sight and watch for a while. By which I mean let's just poke him. Is he even blinking? We tried to cross the bridge. He'll spot us instantly. No doubt all the other bridges across the river are being patrolled as well. Looks like we're out of luck on that front. If we can't use the bridges, how do we get to the other side? Hmm. How to get across without the police noticing? Oh, you know this reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs> it's almost as if London police have some sort of way to communicate with each other across long distances faster than a human could walk. Yeah, I think it's called uh, telekinesis. Oh no. Use the sandbags as stepping stones to get across the river. The numbers represent the depth of the water, and you need that number of sandbags to cross part of the river. What would be the minimum number of sandbags you would need to cross from one side to the other? You're not allowed to move diagonally. All right. Not allowed to move diagonally. It's just um. Okay. Well, the answer's not going to be just going straight across because that's too, whatever. But if that was five, six, this would be eleven. This would be eleven. Are they all 11? Yeah, they're 11 all the way across. Interesting. Okay. I like the guessing of just 10 outright. Can't move diagonally. All right. I like I like I like going in blind. Should do it, I think. So What's ten is wrong. With me today? Look for a route that uses the smallest number of sandbags. You'll want to avoid the places that are five deep. Well, yes. Definitely understood that. The route has just one section that is one deep. And you don't need to pass through a section that is four deep. 
So you want to avoid... Avoid... Oh, okay. Um... You want to avoid fives. Don't pass through fours. Um... Well, that would make it... Like, this way. Right? But that's... That's still 11. If I do that... Or rather, that's 10. But it didn't like 10. lower until it works. The... How do I bring that up again? You gotta use sandbags as stepping stones to go across the river. Number represents the depth of the water. You need the number of sandbags to cross that part of the river. What would be the minimum number of sandbags you would need to cross from one side to the other? Not allowed to move diagonally. My problem is that I'm afraid that they're going to be like, you can really reuse a sandbag somehow. You found the shortest route now, but placing the number of sandbags along it is not the correct answer. You're not trying to build a path that others can use after you. Yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be something like that. Okay. So... We know this is the shortest path with the least number we need. Um, I don't think it would be straight three, because if you need to stand on, let's say you need to stand on here, you need three to be there, right? Um, you can't just take the one from under you and stick it on, stick it here. So I actually think we would need uh, four. Because if we had three here at the bottom, and we had one here to make the fourth one... Oh no, wait, it would be five. Just saying you can stand on there, then you can take the ones off the things. So I think it's five. Five makes the most sense to me. Let's find out if the game agrees. I've seen how to solve this now. Yeah. Puzzles are made for solving. But otherwise, if you didn't need, for some reason, you could just use ones from out from under you, then yeah, then, then I could see the answer being three, but um, that ruins the whole question. Yeah, I had a feeling they were going to go that route. I think it'll work. This way we'll be able to get across the other side of the river without anyone spotting us. Oh, it's Inspector Hastings. So maybe that copper who wouldn't have arrested you after all. I don't know. Let's listen into their conversation for fun. Have you seen her? No, sir. No sign of Miss Layton anywhere as of yet. Do you... Do you think she really did it, sir? What are you talking about, Constable? Of course she didn't do it. Something funny is going on here. Just think of all the cases we've been scratching our heads about that she's helped us to solve. You need to build a bridge made of policemen. Alright, sometimes she plays the fool, but her heart's in the right place. She's not bent, I'm sure of that. My little lemon said it all. Cat doesn't just try to solve her cases, she's always thinking about what's best for everyone involved. She's a rare gem. It was blindingly obvious she can't kill a person. Yes, sir, I think so too, sir. The uh, thing is, Chief Inspector Britannius is completely convinced that she did it. I don't know what he thinks he's playing at these days. We started this case this stream. Uh, he, he, 
the only reason they think we did it is because we were seen going into the store at the same time that she died. So... Because they can. I haven't seen much of him lately. You seem to be have been in the limelight a lot more. When I arrived at the scene to find him there, I was quite excited. But then this all came. We used to enjoy a bit of friendly competition, Britannius and me. I don't know what's going on in his head anymore. Anyway, the point is, as far as I'm concerned, Cat's innocent. <laughs> Inspector Murderchin. <sighs> Personally, I'd like to bring her in and work through it all. We we'd soon show her how innocent she is. But Britannius is the investigating officer, and the way he's banging on, I don't fancy Cat's chances if she shows up at the yard. If only we could find her. I could warn her to stay away. Oh, come on, Constable, let's look elsewhere. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Oh, good. Maybe we don't have to do a weird sandbag trick. Old Super Snitch has headed off. So, Inspector Hastings believes I'm not guilty. Oh my goodness, that's not a clue. That's not a clue. Don't make that a clue. You've worked on a lot of cases together. Well, well, a rare gem. Oh, look at me. I haven't got time to sit around and watch. Oh, right. We have things to do. To the wharf! Oh, good. Okay. Good. Not a clue. For a second, I really thought there was gonna be a thing that popped up that was like, Catrill is innocent. Clue number three. Uh, Ernest uh, stayed behind to flail his arms about and keep the police from chasing after us. So... I assume he's just standing there, still waving his arms about. No sign of police. Yeah, alright, it's the wharf while the going's good. Finally, we've made it to the wharf. Now to find a boat. Oh no! Inspector Murder Chin is here! Without saying goodbye first, darling. Ah! What are you doing here? It's really very simple, Catriel. Rather like your mind, I told the Chief Inspector you'd definitely attempt to escape by boat. Emiliana! How did you know? I'm a professional profiler, you know. It's a simple matter of analyzing your behavioral patterns. It's obvious that you try to think of a devious way to evade capture, a way to flee as far as possible, with the least effort. In other words, a boat. Don't forget that I've had the dubious pleasure of spending a lot of time in your company. I had plenty of data for my analysis. Oh, well, good job. You've obviously been paying close attention to the way I work. I'm not sure why you're so happy. You do realize what this means. Oh, yeah, nah, I figured that part out. Why did you run away in the first place? You've successfully managed to implicate yourself by doing that. The Chief Inspector was already convinced that I was guilty? Well, I mean, as a colleague, let me give you some advice. Come back to the yard. Turn yourself in. I appreciate your words, but I'm not turning myself in. But I've already deduced that would be your answer. Ah, it's futile to run, and in any case, it would be better for everyone if you just come in and clear this up. I mean, we really won't know how futile it is until I try. Alright, ladies, I think we've had enough chit-chat, don't you? You're not getting away from me again, Miss Layton. Hmm. Amazing what people will do to advance their careers. What'd you say? Nothing. Oh, career advancement. Good question. Uh, well, um, hmm. Not sure what to do. Give up. I'm going to arrest you now. You can't arrest me. Not until you solve a puzzle. I still want to throw a puzzle at their face. I want to be the one who gets to be like, no, you can't do things to me. Not till you answer my puzzles. Sorry, not good at giving up. There's no way out. Just like in this pu- No, you can't throw the puzzle at me. I'm the party you're trying to be- you're trying to arrest. I get to throw the puzzles. This is not fair. Not fair. You're out on the plains, so <laughs> You notice that you're surrounded by three lions. They already have their eyes on you. However, for some reason, they won't attack if two or more of them are in the same distance away from their prey. You need to use this to your advantage so that you can make your escape. Find a route to the exit, moving one space at a time, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. Okay. 
All right. I don't know why he lets us. I don't know why he gets to give the puzzles. It's so unfair. Um. Okay, they're still equally apart if I do that. Right, that was the that was the two or more have to be the same distance away. If I go further. distance away from two if I do that, but if I move over, I'm not. One, two. Oh, I get eaten there. Or maybe that just counts. Maybe I'm next to the door and it's fine. Okay, cool. This is an Wasn't sure. to get to throw the puzzle in your face, not the other way around. Wait, you found a solution? What? You- what? Oh, sorry. I did say I was, wasn't good at giving up, didn't I? Okay, goodbye! Wait! Stop! Ah, uh, I see. I- I- shocked you with my puzzle skills and was able to run away. Oh, on to the boat. Where are we going? The boat's the other way. Well, we clearly can't get on a boat now. I have to give up on that idea. Instead, let's go to Bowlin Hill. What? I think I'd rather let the cops get us. Eh, it'll be fine. Even if they follow us, it'll be much easier for us to hide somewhere. If you say so. What are you all standing around for? After her! I'll offer a handsome reward to the first one of you who catch her. Sir, yes sir! There's no need to panic, Chief Inspector. But we had her. She was within our grasp, and she slipped away. Oh, don't worry. Just leave it to me. I have a good idea of where she'll go next. Rather than chasing her blindly, let's head her off. That's a far more effective plan. Mm, I do like that. Yes, okay. Where is they? Where are they going? Oh, well, she'll try to hide in... This clue! The thirst for success clue. I, that's not a clue. Not a clue. Not a clue. It's not even. Oh, okay. The fact that he seems driven to succeed. Yeah, okay, that potential clue, it's not like. It's, it's a thing. Going to run away now. Do, 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 do. I guess we get chased around in this story a lot, and then, um. After. We overhear enough things, we'll be like, ha, ah, you're the murderer. It was you. It's much more of a clue than a murder happened. Clue number one. 
Nearly there. We've made it to Bowling Green at last. By Nat's whisker. Nat's have whiskers? I don't want to know. I think I'll better stash my bicycle somewhere so the police can't find it. Good idea. Not like we can go back to the river or Chancellor Lane. We'll have to lie low. Oh! What is it? No, look, that's hands. Hands? You never gave me a heart attack. Detective! Police still haven't caught you good. Yes, we managed to outrun them so far. In no small part thanks to you and your brother. What are you doing here? Working. I fixed statue. Really? I didn't know you did that kind of work as well. I do all work. We do not drink only tea like you British. And you should not be wasting time here. I think... Yep, no, that's, those are words he said. Go into back streets where it's hard to find you. Oh, yeah, that's my plan. Wish you luck. Thanks. Now we head into the dark and dingy back streets? Exactly. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think we can finally lower our guard a little. There's no way the police would spot us here. Are you barking? We're still right out in the open. I suppose you're right. This is probably still a little too exposed. Let's head down to some smaller streets. Alright, now we can pause for breath. We should be safe. Well, safe-ish. Hmm, yeah, sure, rest time. Uh-oh, someone's there! What? Where? Oh, it's... Is it Ratman? It's a Ratman! Ratman's from, like, what, Case 5 or something? Like a rodent from the gutter, he appears. Crooks and villains tremble in fear. The powerhouse of justice is here. Na 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 Ratman! I knew that voice. Is that you, Mr. Chance? Mr. Chance? Perhaps at first glance. But no, join the dance! I'm Ratman! Oh, sorry, yes, of course. Oh, I'm glad it's you, Mr. Uh, Ratman, and not the police. I was out for a stroll on patrol, looking for a troubled soul. And I'd wager I'd found one, judging by that face so glum. Well, the thing is, the police are after me because they think I did a murder, but, you know, I would never do a murder. Of course not, obviously. Oh, that's the pits. Those rotten crits. Accusing you of a crime you didn't... commit. <clears throat> Ah, but don't let your spirits fall. I'm well aware of all the deeds you've done, and so are the good people of London. And everyone knows Catriel Blayton's nose is as clean as they goes. So stand tall, rise above it all. Oh, thanks, Ratman. You've given me the strength to carry on. Good to hear. Have no fear. Sooner or later, you'll be in the clear. Yes, I'm innocent. I believe the truth will prevail. Uh, although, being on the run is not really help helping. How long am I going to have to do this? Who's going to prove I'm innocent? Usually I'm the one who does that. Yes, yeah, I can't believe I've been so blind. There's no one else who's going to prove my innocence. No one but me! Ah, a bulb lights in our heroine's noggin. The answer to the riddle comes a knockin'. That doesn't really work as a rhyme, but he tried. Ah, Miss Layton, it falls to you, but no one's better at getting out of a stew. Justice will be served in due course. Thanks, Ratman. So, how are we going to do it? How are we going to clear your name? Investigating the cause and determining who the real culprit is, just like all the crime shows. So, let's start back, go back to where we started. Oh, that's right, let's go right back to where they'll look for us. Well, if I investigate the scene of the crime, I'll never be able to prove I didn't do it. So we gotta go do that. I know it's dangerous, but we're gonna do that. Alright, I don't wanna rain on your parade. It was your light bulb moment after all. Thanks, Cheryl. And Cheryl, don't worry, you it'll all be fine. I can't have you making exceptions to the any mystery solved motto just because the mystery relates to a member of the pack. Otherwise, no hope for making any progress on 
the conversational canine case is there. Anyway, I don't like that Britannius. I just want to bite him. Ah, uh, I'd like you. How dare he accuse you of being a murderer? Really taking a biscuit. Alright. Yes, I'm in agreement. Cool. I'm glad we all agree. It's a clue. The clue is... We need to find some proof. It's not really a clue. But good for us. Ratman makes Kate realize she must prove her innocence rather than running away. The clue of the century. Luckily, it wasn't the police. Nope, back to home to terror. Just need to get my bike. from the giant fall. It will take a particular route, starting at the top left, going down to the bottom right. If you're hit by the ball or have nowhere left to go, you lose. The ball and the bike move at the same time. On each turn, they move one square. The bike can't travel through any squares it has been through before for some reason. Uh, oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't need that. Maybe that's just a... Uh, yep. Okay. So, I just have to outrun it, right? Or I guess get around it? Uh, we move at the same time, and I can only move one square. So... And I can't move back. Okay, so I can move up those. Okay. A, a one. This that was not anything? really, but sure. Puzzles are made for solving. Sure. You did it. You dodged it. Then we didn't have to animate it. But then we did. <laughs> that that felt like a puzzle added in for no, for because they needed to add in gameplay. It's fine. That was too close for comfort. It was a little more exciting than I'd bargained for. We were very nearly flattened. Surely the police couldn't have been behind that, could they? Hard to believe they'd use such rough tactics, but who else could have done it? I don't know. Time? Erosion? Bad maintenance? I guess they... Hans was working on that statue, wasn't he? It's a bit over top for the police, though. Maybe they're just so desperate to catch you they've lost all sense of what's right and wrong. Maybe. Anyway, I guess we should look out for other dangerous things. Well, back to investigating. Glad I got my bike out. There's not a police officer in sight. Well, there is a surprise. I was sure they would come be out here in force waiting for me to come back. Think he's given up on trying to catch you? Nah. Nah. Yeah, I agree. Nah. Oh, 
What are you doing back here? Oh, sorry, I know you tried to help me get away before, there's just something I need to do at the scene of the crime. Uh, maybe it's been solved already, though? Is that why there's no police around? Maybe they figured it out on their own this time? Nah, I haven't heard anything. There were police up and down the whole street until not long ago, but suddenly they all disappeared. Oh, I see. Wonder where they all went. Well, let's not waste this chance. Sixteen police jump out of a room. Nope, okay. No police in the shop. The scene of crime? Expect at least one or two plots around here, wouldn't you? Well, this is your chance then, isn't it? Get investigating. Alright. Uh, let's try the chalk outline. Look, you see the chalk outline? That must be where she was found. Other than that, you have no idea this was a murder scene. That looks completely normal, doesn't it? Displays and shelves don't appear to have been disturbed. Hard to imagine that theft was the motive in this case. Perhaps it was someone she knew. Someone who held a grudge. That's possible. Explain why there are no signs of a struggle. Oh no, I found a puzzle amongst the hats. Everything looks neat and tidy. No sign of a break-in. Ah, what is it? Have you found a clue? No, a puzzle. It's just the opposite of a clue? It's a thing. To make some items of jewelry, this girl needs various pieces of cord, each with one red bead on them, using a special cutter that cuts in a circular shape. Get the lengths of the cord ready with just one cut. The cord is not joined up anywhere. You can't see. Slide the circle to move it to the place where the cutter needs to be used. The cord cut off inside the circle is not required. Okay, so you need all these cords. And you need it ready with one cut. I'm not... I mean, for one thing, that's a terrible thing to cut with for what you're doing. It's, it's a little silly. It's just a little silly. Am I trying to make them all... So I'm assuming I'm supposed to be trying to do something silly like that. I'm gonna get that one. Cuts off that one. Those are still connected then though. So maybe it's more like that. Except that one's connected to there, so maybe it's more like that. Hey, E Block! Thank <laughs> you for that resub. Four months, late night, Professor Late Night. Uh, I think I need everything to be. So that one's on its own. Maybe if I use the memo pad. This one is on its own already, so I think this one's fine. You're fine. You connect up that one. So you need to get cut. You connect up to this one. So that needs cutting. And this one needs cutting. This one doesn't. I think I'm gonna cut it here. That 
should get everything. I've seen how to solve this. This is a now. terrible way to craft. Puzzles are made for solving. Terrible way to craft. Scissors are much snips, actually. Snips, not even scissors. Really think that puzzle was for sale. I don't know, it's a puzzle, isn't it? Accessories. There's a hat. Was this the hat I wanted to buy? Awkward place to design your goods, isn't it? Or does it just look too high from all the way down here? She always used that mannequin's head up there to showcase her finest hats. Wait a minute, though. That's a little odd. What's odd, other than the workings of your mind? Well, when I came in here last night, the hat was straight. Now it's at an angle. I told you, the workings of your mind are odd. Who remembers something like that? Not the person who was in the store, that's who. I do. I'm sure I'm right, because I remember looking longingly at the very hat yesterday evening. So you're saying that between then and now somebody tipped the hat? The fiend! That's what I'm saying, yes. I can't imagine Miss Price doing it. So it must have been the killer! Alright, take it back. Perhaps you're onto something. Let's investigate. Alright, I'll just fetch the mannequin's head down. Oh! That's a... That's a... That's more of a statue than just a mannequin, isn't it? What's that? Its head is dented out of shape. Look. Was it always like that? I don't know. There's always a hat on it, so I've never been able to see what the head looks like. Hmm. I wonder when it got damaged. Oh, our first real clue. Doesn't sit right with me. No signs of anything out of the ordinary at all. Oh no. This isn't- No, wait. Somebody would have had to have moved the mannequin. It just kind of- I'm wondering if maybe it's one of those things where no one actually murdered her so much as she got hit in the head and then for whatever reason, uh, what's-his-face put the hat back up and was just like, oh, someone murdered her instead for... for... promotion? If it's relevant, the dent in the mannequin's head. If it's relevant, I wonder. Uh oh What is it? Someone's coming. Could be the fuzz. Hey, I'm right. I thought you'd be here. Emiliana, just as I expected. Oh, you were expecting me? Of course, you're a professional profiler. I thought you'd have a hunch that I'd come back here. I don't operate on hunches. You might. But I prefer hard facts and scientific analysis. Your profile clearly identified the fact that you have come to the scene of the crime to investigate for yourself. And will Chief Inspector Britannius be joining us? No, he won't be coming. I fed him some bogus information. He's currently investigating some random and completely unrelated location. I see. So it was you who cleared all the police out of Chancellor Lane, was it? You gave them a false lead? I don't imagine that I did it for your benefit. At first I thought, we needed to catch you in order to get the truth of the matter. But I was wrong. 
Sorry? Britannius has clearly jumped to conclusions here. He hasn't investigated thoroughly enough at all. His deductions are totally flawed. All I want to see is a proper investigation. No corners cut. In other words, you don't think I did it. I never said that. A proper investigation is all I said. Uh, it still sounds a lot like you believe I'm innocent. Let's say, for the sake of argument, I do believe you're innocent. That would be based on evidence, not some misplaced loyalty. So, do you have any evidence? Actually, I do. I know you've been telling the truth. That in itself is evidence. I can immediately tell when someone is lying. You see, it's quite simple. This puzzle is my lie detector. Ah, uh, truth lies in a box of falls. Yeah, that sounds like a great Friday night. Four people are talking next to a box with a 4x4 four four grid. Let's call them A, B, C, and D. A says, there are two balls in each vertical line. B says, there is one ball in each horizontal line. C says, there is a ball in each of the four corners. D says, the only person lying here is A. Two of four people are lying. Each slot can take one ball, so how many balls are in the box in total? Alright. A, B, C, D. Uh, A says there are two balls in each vertical line. We can technically do that by doing that. B says there's one ball in each horizontal line. Oh wait, oh I guess... No, it would have to be like... I did that wrong. Just thinking about something else. Um, C says there's a ball in each of the four corners. D says the only person lying is A, but two four people are lying. So D has to be lying because there has to be two people lying. balls are in the slot. Could the puzzle narrator be lying? I don't think that counts, no. The person lying here is A, so D has to be a liar, which means... Well, no, D's lie is that A might be the only liar. One ball in each horizontal line. Two balls in each vertical line. I want A to be the liar. I gotta figure out who's lying. It's two balls in every vertical line. It's gotta be like that. So one ball in each horizontal line. Two balls in each vertical line. One ball in each horizontal line. One ball at each corner. Hey, Black. Oh, thank you for that cheer. Happy American Thanksgiving and Canadian Thursday. Uh, Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you. It is American Thanksgiving. I hope I hope it's been a good one for those of you who have had them. Maybe some of you have had some Friendsgivings. I had a Thursday, but I also am Canada. 
I have to figure out who the other one is lying. So two or four people are lying. Each slot can take one ball. How many are in? Because it depends on who's lying. I guess technically A could be lying. And the lie that D is telling is just that it's um, that they're the only person who's a liar. Um, in which case. There's one ball in each horizontal line. Two in each vertical would be the wrong thing. Which would make it more like this. has to be a ball in each corner and one in each horizontal line, so... Hmm. Hmm. That would be correct, like each corner, each horizontal line. I'm just gonna do it and see if it's right. This Space Carl, you were gifted a sub. Good, good and I got this good. answer wrong. But you were gifted a sub. Thank you to the anonymous one who did that. Okay. So. What I think we've determined is that A is not a liar. Eric has also been gifted a sub by Anonymous. An Anonymous gifter. Thank you very much. Um, okay. So, I don't think A is the liar then. But that makes it B or C. I think C saying that there's a ball in each of the four corners isn't wrong. Because it kind of lines up with there being two in each thing, which would make this eight. Is that correct? Two balls in each vertical line. Let me take out that there has to be one in each horizontal. That would make the answer eight. And if this doesn't work this out, I'm gonna look at clues. Okay. Puzzles are made for solving. How do you say thank you and ghost? Ghost subs. You did it! There are eight balls in total. Only A and B stories tie in with each other. B and D were lying. Honesty is the best policy. Sure. Let's see, we get those those anonymous subs go getting in. An anonymous sub to Ropes, or as you might know them, Arten Lopez. Art R. R. Lopez. And Clever Crumbish, I'm gonna spam some emotes in my chat because I can. There. Oh, you're a walking lie detector by using puzzles. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor despite being the focus of a manhunt. Now, as a favor, I'll show you some interesting data. This is 
This is the autopsy report. Does it say she's dead? I already knew that. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, look at this. She suffered a blow to the head. Oh, we have some... And bruising to the chest. What's that all tell us? Bruising to the chest. That's something of a mystery, I admit. If I'm reading this correctly, the chest injuries he had nothing to do with the cause of death, is that right? It's unclear how those injuries came about. The cranial blow was a clear cause of death. It seems probable the victim was struck heavy with a blunt object of some description. Hmm. Anyway, that's all the information I'm able to give you. Thank you, Meliana. I really appreciate it. Don't thank me. The only reason I did this was because I can't stand to see anyone falsely accused. My profiling clearly shows the culprit in this case bears no resemblance to you whatsoever. Not to mention... What? That despite our differences, I can see that you're honestly well-intentioned and honest, just like Knight Valey in 28, who has been gifted an anonymous gift, so... That's a very big of you to say so. You are not the killer. That's what my pro profiling demonstrates. Now it's up to you to prove that it's accurate, so goodbye! Well, turns out that worked out. Ah, she's very valuable. Anyway, the real puzzle now is how the bruising on the chest happened. She died here in the shop from a blow to the head. No signs of a struggle. Dead in Madkin's head on top of the cabinet. Bruising on the chest. Wait, I wonder. I have thought of something. We put some glasses on this hat. Thoracic bruising. Wow. I didn't expect them to see that word. <laughs> I haven't seen many puzzles in this game. I mean, we've been avoid we've been mostly going around doing the main story as opposed to uh, doing the puzzle hunting. So we've been skipping a lot of a lot of the side puzzles. Yes, of course. I know exactly what happened now. Bruising on the chest suggests someone tried to give her CPR. I do, and I can prove my own innocence. Why was she killed? That's got me scratching. Scratching my head, I mean. I haven't got fleas. The person with all the answers will be here soon enough. All we have to do is wait. The killer's coming? Here? No. She probably pulled the mannequin onto her head by accident. Oh, Catria Layton. Here you are. Now I've got you. Uh-oh, he's called us. Ah, oh, right on cue. Good. Miss Layton, you can Is it you who's got me, or the other way around? What? This mystery is history. Yes, the orchestrator of this plot is someone driven by extreme jealousy. Jealousy of my success. Isn't that right, Chief Inspector Royal Britannius? Oh, please. You're behind all this, aren't you? You're the one who set me up. No. And I, of course, am innocent. <laughs> what are you saying, Cat? The Chief Inspector? Really? Well, are you off your locker? Explain yourself. Okay. The two of you have always competed with one another for success in your careers. But you've been losing more and more ground each day recently, haven't you, Chief Inspector? So you concocted an elaborate plan. What plan? When you found out that Inspector Hastings was benefiting from my puzzle-solving skills, you started thinking... I have to get rid of that Katrina Layton and her puzzle-solving skills. You decided to frame me for murder. So, was the person actually murdered then? Because it seems like they were actually murdered. And discredit your rival as someone who solicits the help of criminals at the same time. She's got it wrong, hasn't she, Britannius? I, I thought it was always just friendly rivalry between us. How could you do something like this? I, I mean, murder? Uh, let's not jump to conclusions, Inspector. He didn't actually cause a murder, so it's okay. Your colleague may be a right royal pain in the Britannius, but a murderer he is not. You've lost me. 
Cardinus Price was trying to fetch down a mannequin's head from on top of a cabinet. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it fell on top of her, striking her a deadly blow to the skull. But you said Britannia's planned it. How could he have planned that? You have the order of events in reverse. The chief inspector was the person who discovered Ms. Price's body. It was only afterwards that he conceived of this whole plan. You really wanted to get ahead that badly? I was born with nothing, you know. Absolutely nothing. Nothing but this chin. For me, power and prosperity is the be-all and end-all. If you beat me to the top, I'd be a failure again. A nothing. A nobody. It was the extent of the bruising on Miss Price's body that mystified me at first. But it was because of how hard you tried to resuscitate her. Isn't that right? Yes. Poor woman. So I think that proves it. A merciless competitor? Yes. A murderer? No. Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hastings? I suppose that just about sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Obstructed a crime scene, but it's all fine. The incident involving Miss Price was a very sad affair all around, but the people Chancellor Lane came through for me. Thanks to them, I was able to clear up the false accusation of murder for which I was so heinously framed. I'll never forget the faithfulness of everyone who stood by me so loyally and believed in my innocence. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm with you, PM Averys. Why, why, the, why the statue rolling? What happened? Case 12. I don't suppose that case coda tells us why. What happened with the, um... Here we go. Back at Scotland Yard, PC Beat and Emiliana discuss how Cat was framed, and what will become of Britannius. Then the constable says something wrong. Here we go. Aha! The reason why the ball thing happened. Bretzi, is good your side? No, yes, good here. Then ball is back in position, on man. Oh, lucky no one was hurt. Always letting things slip out of your hands. You must be more careful. Ah, uh, no, yes, it is called nominative native determinism. Not my fault. Why they put unstable ball statue at top of Big Hill? Stupid people. Just be more careful. First hand of Big Ben. No, ball of boiled man. This time I cannot fix with baking. Even I cannot make profiterol so big. Don't be stupid. I only asked your help to bring back Ball from Bottom of Hill. Oh, but Profertals. Maybe that good idea. What are you thinking? The children I see playing this park look sad. Maybe we make them food. Oh, sweets. Children like sweets. Featherweight, you've been gifted a sub from someone who is not named. Yeah, thank you. Brothers will be famous across all London for doing such thing. No, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so no one tried to kill us. That ball just fell. I do like the idea that he's like, why they put an unstable giant ball on a statue up, up, up on the highest hill. That is bad. Alright, final case. Ugh. Diamonds aren't forever. A curious invitation arrives at the agency. It's for a puzzle party to win a famous fortune. But who is the host? Lord Adamus? Alright. In we go.
Miss Layton, look what just arrived in the post. It's addressed to Professor Layton. Read it out, please, Ernest. I have discovered the Richmond fortune. Now to share it out, I am arranging a puzzle-solving party to take place on Christmas Eve. Oh, convenient. All those wishing to participate should come to Richmond Court. Expectantly yours, Lord Adamas. Hmm, interesting. The legendary Richmond Fortune. Richmond Fortune? It's a very famous tale here in the city, Sherl. There's a large palace that was built here in London by the now deceased multi-millionaire Maximilian Richmond. The multi-millionaire Maximilian Richmond. Ah, uh, no, no name has been, no precise name has give, been given for multi-millionaire since Richie Rich. Since his death, the place has been deserted. People have long speculated that there must be a fortune hidden somewhere inside the enormous mansion. And there's been no end of breaking and entering by people trying to find it. It's been ten years now since Maximilian passed away. But what's all this about a puzzle-solving party to share it out? It sounds rather queer. Do you think it's a hoax? No. Hoax or not, it sounds like fun. We'll go. Sure. Dad won't mind. I think you'll find it wasn't actually your name on the invitation. Oh, let's scratch the first name out. I expect that's because of the sign above the door. It only says late after all. I imagine whoever sent the invitation was hoping for the attendance of a great puzzle solver. Thanks, Ernest. I'm right here. Just standing here in the room. In which case, the invitation landed in the right lap anyway. If there's anyone who can outstrip Dad in the puzzle-solving department, it's me. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm better than Dad. Get over it. The rest of the world needs to. <laughs> Lord Amadamus is Professor Layden. That would be a really weird way to end this. But sure. Ooh. So, this is Richmond Court. Hmm. It's gone to the dogs. But you can tell it was quite something in his day. I guess we're here early or late. But we're definitely not here with all the other people who've been invited to this puzzle party. people who invited to the puzzle party, all the rich people who already are rich. I was expecting some other puzzlers. Okay. Well, well, what do you know? Gosh, it seems we weren't the only people who had a mysterious invitation in the post. That's quite an impressive guest list. Yes. Seven of London's wealthiest. The Seven Dragons of London! <laughs> I didn't know you'd be coming too. Ah, oh, they put all their voice work in this case, didn't they? Hello, Mr. Barnan. I see you're in very good company. I wonder why we're all here together. Yeah, it's a real head scratcher, ain't it? <laughs> I don't know what this is all about, but who wouldn't be intrigued by a note like that? I quite agree. I couldn't imagine declining such a fascinating invitation. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Richmond Court. Hi. I am your host, Lord Adamas. Oh, no. None of us are leaving this castle of forever, are we? Hmm? Huh? I would like to invite you all to take part in a game. Uh -huh. A puzzle-solving game with the very highest stakes. If we don't do them, we can't leave? This is crazy. Lose, and the entire fortune will be donated to the Dark Jewel Foundation. Is that a charity? Because maybe we should just do that. Although, from the name, I feel like it might be a villainous organization. So, 
on the table in front of you, you will find some contracts. Uh-huh. Sign them, please. How much time do we get to read them? Getting crazier. You may, of course, refuse if you wish. As long as you don't mind your dirty secret being exposed. <gasps> oh no! A Monokumo-esque thing! Secret? I have a dirty secret. Oh yeah, I'm sure they'll all jump to sign on the dotted Ooh, line. Right, this maybe I don't have a dirty secret. Maybe my dad world. has a dirty secret though. Yeah, I want to know the secret. Expose it. Oh, well, this promises to be quite entertaining. Yes, count me in. Guys, I mean, that invitation was technically sent to Professor Layden. Oh, yes. The man never shies away from a challenge. <laughs> Is the secret he's, he's not actually dead? What? I mean, we don't actually know. Nobody told us if he was dead or not in the story. Just that he's not here? Why not? Sounds like it's worth taking a punch on. I'm going to make it sound like I don't care about secrets and sign this anyway. Exactly. We dragons didn't get where we are today without taking risks. I'm in. I am of the same opinion as you. Eliza, what is your feeling? I... I think I ought to have a go. Do I sign here? Is her dirty secret that she holds ghost parties? Cause that ain't that much of a secret anymore. Well, Lord Adamas, whoever you are, you have your wish. We have all signed on the dotted line. Excellent. So let's get started on the puzzles. Okay. Well, it's all seven of our dirty signatures on their paperwork. <laughs> Precisely. How is this puzzle solving party going to proceed? The rules of the game I have devised for you are all extremely simple. From this hallway, you have access to four rooms. The red door leads to the Rosenberg room, the blue to the treasury, the green to the hope room, and behind the purple door is a room called the treachery. The Rosenberg room and the treasury. Honestly, what's this all about? Hope and treachery. Oh my goodness, why, how did we get into Duncan Rampa? You must locate and solve a hidden puzzle in each of the four rooms. If you fail at a puzzle, you lose. And according to the terms of the contracts you've just signed, because for some reason no one seems to have read them, you will hand over your fortunes to me. If you complete all four puzzles successfully, you win. In which case, you will become the heir of the Great Richmond Fortune. I hope that's all clear. Good. Then please, pick a door and begin. Oh, this sounds simple enough. Ah, I feel my fortune swelling already. Dirty. Don't be so sure of yourself, doubly. I'll give you a run for your money. What's the Dark Jewel Foundation? Fine, nobody cares. Which means the order you go at them could be strategically important. Oh dear, I'm not really sure which door to pick first. All roads lead to the same destination. You must solve all the puzzles in the end if you wish to win. Well, that's a good point. I suppose we should just say somebody will win. It's great. All the other guests have picked a room and gone in. Where should we start? Let's see. Welcome, Miss Layton. Miss Catriel Layton. Huh? Who is that voice? No, oh, it's the same person who was speaking before. Mm, it's mysterious Lord Adamus. I invited Professor Layton to this event as an educator. It's a shame he hasn't come. I'm afraid my father's busy. I'm here. Couldn't I help? It's just one thing the educator must do first. Is it prove myself by solving a puzzle? I need you to sign the contract that you'll find in the middle of the room. What sort of contract? This must be the contract. Let's see. 
The agitator hereby consents to make the events he or she witnesses at this puzzle-solving event known to the general public. Unusual terms. I was expecting to be sworn to secrecy, not the other way around. Now, Miss Layton, before you sign on the dotted line, first let's see if you're a worthy substitute. How many puzzles have you solved so far? Seems you've solved a total of 75. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, cool. I didn't know. For a second I was like, oh no, there's a limit. Please sign the contract. You'll be required to spread the word about what you're witness here today, to make the public aware of what transpires. Yeah, alright, there, I signed it. Very good, good, now you know the rules. Losers lose everything, winner takes away the great Richmond fortune. Your job is to oversee puzzle solving until all participants have been eliminated. Or until somebody wins. I guess that's a possibility too. Puzzles of Richmond Court await you. Enjoy! Well, now where do we start? Uh, let me see. Alright, I've decided. We start in the Rosenberg room. Because... Yeah, because I feel like it. Yeah, let's not forget, I can just decide on a room. Doesn't really matter. So, let's go. Rosenberg room. So, I just have to make sure other people have solved puzzles properly or not solved them, right? So I don't have to do any puzzles? Is that that, that what I understand? Here we are. Rosenberg room. It's every bit as ostentatious as the hallway, isn't it? Didn't someone say this Richmond court was a deserted ghost house? Well, the ghosts certainly seem to have some nice furniture. I'm starting to think perhaps all the rumors about this place are unfounded. Miss Leighton, Cheryl, Mr. Sloanes, and Mr. Chance are over there. We're not the only mongrels to have picked this room, then. Looks like they're discussing something. Seriously, Grant, what are we doing here? Why don't you think this whole thing is a farce? Come on, Caesar. You know as well as I do what this is all about. All seven of us invited here to Richmond Court of all places. Yes, but why now? It's been years since it happened. And in any case, no one else besides us seven knows what went on. True. I don't understand it either. Which is why we have no choice but to agree to the charade. Come on, we're supposed to be finding a puzzle in this room, remember? I don't know what they were rooting to. <sighs> but anyway, it doesn't sound like they found the puzzle yet. Let's go and talk to them. I'm curious about something. Hey, we heard you talking. What were you talking about? What were you talking about? Mr. Chance and Mr. Sloan, I see we've chosen the same room. Ah, Cashrail, hello. Uh, this was your choice too, was it? You haven't managed to find the puzzle yet, then? No, nah, not yet. We've been looking. No luck so far. It's all part of this Adamus's fun, I suppose. Testing us to see if we can find his puzzles, let alone solve them. Wah. Ah, right. If your name is said, then you have been gifted a gift by an anonymous gifter. Sub. Reindisa. Weird nay. Just accept the username. Justice Juice. Lucky Lux. I'm gonna spam some emotes in the chat. Thank you for those subs. Do either of you know Lord Adamas? Never even heard the name before. Uh huh. Nor me. I don't think even s seven of us know. I'll tell you one thing, I put money on him not being a real lord. He's playing us and I don't like that. This whole puzzle party idea stinks. But you sounded rather enthusiastic about it before. Must say though, the stakes are alarmingly high. True, you could win the Richmond fortune, but on the other hand, you stand to lose everything you own. It's a very risky gamble. You're right there, but I've never balked at taking risks before, and I'm not about to start now. There's one thing I've learned, is that the stakes are always high in business. Success doesn't come for free. Oh, I see. Yes. And of course, Lord Adamus did mention a secret that he'd expose if he refused. Listen, Cat. 
If you've been in business as long as we have, you have, have more than a few skeletons in the closet, I'm sure. Anyway, we've got a puzzle to find, haven't we? Time to stop belly aching and start puzzle hunting. Why am I helping them find the puzzle? It doesn't seem like this should be my job. Is it really? It's not a painting, is it? That stained glass, haven't you seen any before? Oh, interesting. There are pieces of glass missing in some places. Maybe they got broken? Mr. Richmond was extremely wealthy. I don't imagine he'd have left something like this in a state of disrepair. Good point. Well made. Found the puzzle, have you? No, not yet. We were just studying this piece of stained glass. For some reason, there are one or two pieces of glass missing from it. I did hear that Mr. Richmond was very ill in his final years. Probably didn't bother keeping up with repairs on the place. I don't know. Strikes me as odd. If it was in the process of being repaired, it would have been in situ here. In which case, where are the new pieces of glass? Looks like small fragments of red glass. Glass? Oh, do be careful. Don't want to cut yourself. Don't worry. They're not very sharp. Ah, I wonder if these... Are you onto something? Well, I wonder if these pieces of glass would fit into the stained glass window. Yes, I think we've just discovered the hidden puzzle. So what's the puzzle all about, then? What's this Adamus fellow trying to stump us with? Don't imagine it's just easy to solve, but that makes it all the more fun. I guess I'm solving this so I know the answer, but I'm not telling them. The Red Mountain. Unfinished stained glass window. It's called the Red Mountain. The most important part of the mountain is missing. You put the pieces in to complete the picture. It's important to make sure that the two different types of glass are placed all alternately. Slide the pieces to move them into the frame, touch them to rotate. Oh, I can rotate them. All right. They have to alternate. Hey, Tacticus Vigil, you've been gifted a sub by an anonymous gifter. Thank you. This game's alright. Um, if you like Professor Layton games and you haven't gotten a different one, I would actually probably suggest getting a different Professor Layton game over this one, but I think it's fine. I'd pick this one up on sale. Okay, these need to alternate, so... Oh, that's not gonna work. Maybe... no, not like that. I feel like we're gonna need something like that. I 
I haven't seen what a lot of the side puzzles are this like either, though. Interesting one. So. Puzzles are made for solving. I would definitely recommend maybe looking up a review of the game. We did it. Red Mountain's now complete. It's very pretty. There. Staying class image is complete. Wait, I solved the puzzle. That seems like a, not a thing the judge should be doing. Oh look, there's something written on the bottom of the box that the glass pieces were in. Uh, the Rosenberg was barren. Nothing grew there. No one owned it. No one wanted it. Yet underground treasure sparkled. Great story. What does it mean? Sounds like it has some hidden meaning. Can't be any doubt now. Surely it must be the same Rosenberg. Which would mean this Adamus knows. Right, keep your hair on, Caesar. We don't know that for sure yet. Keep my hair on? We're talking about everything I've built up. My entire fortune. That tiny publishing firm I started out with, and now finally I'm in a position where I control one of London's biggest papers. I mean, you're not the only one of us who came from humble origins. It's funny, actually. It makes me think of how we were back then, ten years ago now. Yes, ten years ago. Feels like an age. I worked so hard, and he was... It seems Mr. Chance and Mr. Sloan's didn't manage to solve the puzzle. So they have to hand over their fortunes. Unless they want to break the terms of the contract. So are we enjoying ourselves? How did you find the puzzle I set you? Those who solved it are invited to move to another room and take the next challenge. Those who failed to solve it have lost everything. Please leave the room and proceed along to the road of ruin. The road to where? There's a passageway over there. I expect that's what he's referring to. Losers must wait in the cellars. Those still in the game, please have fun. Loser? I've never been a loser in my life. Settle down, Caesar. We didn't manage to solve the puzzle, so for that reason we're out. Come on, let's go. They couldn't have their tails any further between their legs. Understandably. On paper, at least. They've just lost their entire fortunes. But they knew what they were getting themselves into. Anyway, we must find the next puzzle. Let's go back out into the hall. <laughs> Wait, my magic murder room. <laughs> Rosenberg. I mean, yeah, that was some kind of a clue. A clue to what, I'm not exactly sure on, but uh, I guess we'll figure that part out. Well, there are three rooms left. Which one do we go? Uh, what are our options again? The treasury, hope, treachery. Hmm, let's go with the treasury. Sound like you, like you put some thought into that. Sure, of course they did. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, blue door it is. Right, let's go. any actual murders happened in this game yet. Uh, there was the one that was not really a murder but a person to die. That was the last case. So, treasury room. A little dingy, isn't it? Still a lavish room. Look at all the exquisite furniture and ornaments. Oh look, we have company. Miss Wright and Mr. Fullhold. Yes, so they picked this room. <laughs> hey, Evelock! Never played a Pokemon game before this, but saw you and Ben playing it on New Day. Really got into Let's Go Eevee. I'm so excited for that. We're going to be streaming that on probably Sunday if we finish this game up. Thank you for that cheer. Also, for, for hanging out when we were wa watching us play the New Day. Very excited for that game. What are we gonna do, Mr. Fullhold? We still haven't managed to find the puzzle! Yep, 
Yes, it still eludes us, doesn't it? Well, I suppose we can't give up. Let's keep looking. Alright. Although, are you sure you should be doing this? We who have agreed to take part in this game could lose everything. All the wealth we have earned. It is dangerous, but I'm sure this Lord Adamus is only interested in myself and the others. You were just a child when it happened. I'm still technically one of the Seven Dragons, even though it's only a title I inherited from my father. My butler told me all about what happened. He served my family for years. As the only surviving member of the White Household, it's my duty to make up the gauntlet now. I see. Hmm. What are they chinwagging about? Whatever it is, they don't seem to have located the puzzle in this room yet. Let's ask them how they're getting on. Mr. Fullholt, have you managed to find that puzzle? Liza, you either? Oh, I didn't hear you come in. No, I'm afraid we haven't had any luck. It's not going well, Miss Layden. And it makes my dream of becoming a treasure hunter in the future seem very distant. Uh, the contest probably doesn't actually need a judge, because, like, yeah, either you did solve the puzzle or not. I feel like we're actually here as more of a, um, a person to witness events, especially since our contract says that we need to make public what happened. So, I don't think- I think while, while our role has been stated that we are a judge, we're actually just more here as a witness. It's not going well. Oh, right. But now you're here. I'm sure all that will change. Very true. We have a trusty Isla in Miss Layton, do we not? Oh, they don't know that I'm not here to help. It's a very risky game you've agreed to take part in, don't you think? You could lose everything you have. I wonder why you did agree to take part in the first place. Well, it's like this. You see, since my dear parents passed away, my life has been filled with sadness and gloom. And recently, I've come to think that I need more. I want to be the sort of person who can face the world alone and win. I want to be worthy of my great family name. So I sort of thought, I should be brave here tonight. I wish she'd shown up in her ghost costume. That would've been fun. Oh, that's an interesting reason. I cannot match Lisa and her honorable reasons. For me, I like the thrill. I find a game with stakes so high to be irresistible. Don't you? Does it not stir the juices of adventures within your veins? Of course, you're a great fan of adventure, aren't you, Mr. Fulhold? That's right, Miss Layton. It has been my dream for many years to live the business behind and go in search of treasure. This is the first step. <laughs> True juices. So, we really ought to find that puzzle then. And you'll join us? Of course. I feel like I should tell you that I'm not here to help you solve a puzzle, though. Is it this candy thing? Looking glass? Jewelry in a decanter, sure. Shiny and sparkly. Strange habits. Putting jewelry inside a decanter. Not a puzzle. How about this picture way in the back? I think that's a picture. Shiny things. Jewelry box. There's been rumors about people breaking into this place ever since it was abandoned. But there aren't actually any signs of 4th century, and with battle evils like this still undisturbed. It would appear the rumors were unfounded. Rumors usually are. Ah, uh, rumors tend to have some kind of grain into them, though. Have you found something? Is it the puzzle? Oh, I'm afraid not, but we did discover a rather beautiful collection of jewelry. Oh yes, it's also pretty, isn't it? We too investigated that jewelry box, but there is no puzzle inside it. No, I can't see a puzzle either. Although, is there something we missed? It's just the way the jewelry has been organized inside the box. Or, rather, how it isn't organized. Don't you find that strange? Oh, I know exactly what you mean. I just want to pull it all out and tidy it up. I can imagine the owner of this jewelry box was not as meticulous as the two of you. I wonder... Hmm. Ah, I 
had to get the jewelry box first. Do you suppose the jewelry in here was misplaced? Presumably it's supposed to be in the jewelry box we found. They don't call you Sherlock for nothing, do they? Oh wait, that's me! Well, I for one can't stand this disarray any longer. We must tidy it up. Let's all work together. Hmm? Wait a minute. Yes, this is it. We found the treasury puzzle. Jewel Doku? <laughs> Alright. Place one jewel in each of the empty spaces in this jewelry box in the 5x5 five five grid. Place the jewels so that there is one of each different kind in the horizontal vertical. Slide jewels, move them where you want them. Jewels in there originally cannot be moved. Okay, it is Sudoku with jewels. This shouldn't be too hard. Alright. Um, we'll place you there for now. Five by five grid. Each different kind. These two don't go anywhere, do they? Each kind in the horizontal vertical rows. Oh, I'm so much better at this one, it's numbers. Um, be a green one in a horizontal row. I think some of the jewels are extras. I mean, like, some of the types themselves. Like these, there's only two of, which means you can't really... Hmm. 
God Complex 2012, you've been gifted a sub by an anonymous sub-gifter. Thank you for that, anonymous sub-gifter. Sudoku works in, uh, in, a, in, uh, it's usually, there's a grid, uh, it's 9x9. Nine nine. No, not 9x9, nine 3x3, nine, three three, and y all of the things are supposed to equal, like, 9, the way you put the numbers up. This isn't really quite Sudoku, this is definitely uh, a slightly different version of it. Yeah. It wants one of each jewel, one of each different kind in the horizontal and vertical rows. My problem with that is... There are two, like, there are two rows where you can't put anything in. So to put things in there... They didn't say no repeats, did they? I'm gonna get a hint to see what they want on this. Focus on the places where horizontal and vertical lines cross. Look at the two lines and see which jewels are missing from both. Yes, clear. Let's look at the bottom horizontal line. The jewels missing from this line are red and orange. The right vertical line has a red jewel in it, so this means the right hand slot on the bottom line has to be orange. Hand slot on the bottom line has to be orange. Am I caring about the number lines? Yeah, it's not really a grid. those. Jewels missing from the bottom horizontal line. Jewels missing from this line are red and orange. Ah, so you're only counting that one. So does that mean you're not counting this one that I can't do anything about? I guess you'd have to be. Which means you need orange like here. I think that's right. Hey, Tex. That looks right to me. This is an interesting one. Yeah. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. It's because of the way they had the grid laid out. They were like, oh, well, kind of. That wording kind of got me. It's a terrible, terrible layout for a jewelry box. And Lonely Tex, you have been gifted a sub by an anonymous gifter. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Uh, 
That's much better. Beautiful jewelry like that just needs to be kept in a proper jewelry box, doesn't it? Huh? Eh, a scrap of paper just fell out of the bottom of the box. Oh, there's something written on it. Hmm, I'll read it. The treasure was stones, precious stones. No one owned them. No one knew they were there. Until one day, a man stumbled upon them. More mumbo-jumbo, that makes no sense. Seems to be related to that snippet we found in the other room, don't you think? Mr. Fulhold, do you think it's... A man stumbled upon precious stones? It seems we have a winner, and some losers. Oh gosh, that voice, it made me jump. Would the winners kindly progress to the next room and the rest of you please leave by this exit along the road to ruin? Oh, the road to ruin. I feel like this was set up to be, um... I'm supposed to defeat everyone and they need to beat the puzzle before I do. Which, in a storyline, is not gonna happen. Sorry we did not win, but what a thrill to take part. Asked Mr. Fulhold, it's been a lot of fun. If I had lost everything, there is nothing to do but scratch. Start again from scratch. A new adventure awaits. Ha ha ha. I suppose I'll have to manage somehow, but do you know what? I think I will manage. What well, doesn't matter if I lose my fortune. I still have the memory of my loving parents. That's all I need. So for that reason, I'm out. That's the spirit. Come this way. Most surprising, their fortunes don't mean as much to them as I would have thought. Well, anyway, we must move to the next room. Back to the hall and decide which one to tackle next. I assume we're gonna take on, maybe, Hope? Hope next? Back to the main room, so we can pick a different room. Alright, which room next? Uh, I picked the last door. Ernest, you pick one now. Oh, I don't... Just say the first thing comes into your head. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Between hope and treachery. Ah, uh, hope room. Gut feeling? Miss Leighton, I prefer to call it miraculous instinct. Alright then, the hope room it is. The green door. Here we are then, the Hope Room. It appears to have a warmer atmosphere than the other rooms. You know, it feels a little strange actually being here in this legendary R Richmond court after all the rumors that have been flying around over the years. Don't you think so? Ernest? Hello? Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I am. Um... Come along, Ernest, pay attention. So then, the puzzle. Ah. Mayor Lohan low on an idea, and Mr. Barnon are over there, look. I'm so intent on finding that puzzle they haven't noticed us. There's no sign of the puzzle anywhere, Phineas. Oh, don't worry, Pip. We'll find it in the end, you mark my words. You're right. The important thing is not to get flustered. Why are you so flustered anyway? I mean... I know there's a the little matter of our entire fortunes being at stake, but even so, you seem really wound up. Well, it's the Richmond fortune, isn't it? It's the connection that's making me most uneasy. If I could turn back time, I'd undo what we did ten years ago. I regret it bitterly, even if I was young and inexperienced. That's no excuse. We're all in the same boat, though. I mean, we all played a part, didn't we? We did, and that includes me. And if the Richmond fortune really exists, as Lord Adamus says, I'd like to see it end up in the right hands, where it belongs. Which is why I have to win this puzzle solving game. Well, you gotta be in it to win it. That's true. Let's find the darn puzzle, eh? What did it ever do to you, Phineas? Just 
Still looking for it then. They don't appear to have found it yet. Let's go talk to them. Hmm. How are you getting along, Pipper? Any f luck, Phineas? There you are. Oh, you've come at just the right time. We can't find the puzzle anywhere. You do seem to be having a hard time. Well, yes, but we've no intention of giving up. May I ask, why did you both agree to take part in this party? You don't strike me as the sort of people who can be bullied into doing things they don't want to do. Oh, you know me. I'm a devil when it comes to a party. You can say that again. How can I turn down a gig like this? You can't put a price on entertainment of this magnitude. Is that so? Because it seems to me there's another reason. Always on duty, eh, cat? Can't turn off that suspicious mind of yours. Never mind that now. We must concentrate on finding the puzzle. Hmm. Alright, well, let's start with these very suspicious looking candles. Interesting. Candles. Wonder why there are four candles here. There's ample illumination from the light on the ceiling. That's strange. I'm sure they weren't lit when we first came into the room. Oh, ghost candles. Someone must have lit them then. But who? Oh, that would be me. I thought it might have something to do with the puzzle we're looking for, so I lit them. But nothing happened. I see. Even so, something about these candles isn't sitting right with me. It's strange that there's a groove in the table, too. I feel like this is more than just decoration. Hey, some books! These panels look out of place here, don't you think? Wonder what they're for. You move my nose, I smell something fishy here. You think they could be connected to the puzzle in some way? <laughs> they're not candles, they're dynamite. That's interesting. These panels appear to be translucent places. And if they're just the right thickness for... Yes, I wonder if... Have you had a moment of clarity? If it's those panels you're getting excited about, I hate to burst your bubble. I already checked them over and there's no sign of a puzzle anywhere. The panels are the same thickness as the groove in the table with the candles. I think we simply have to arrange the panels and candles correctly to unlock the puzzle. Okay, that's a... Puzzle of Hope. Five panels made of colored glass on the table. Stand four of these panels up on the table and use the light from the candles to represent hope. Slide the panels to move them, line them up in the frames to answer. Touch them to rotate. Okay, I can rotate them. There's five, I need four, I need to represent hope, so I either need to make them say hope or something else of that nature. I can rotate them. Oh, right, I can rotate them. That means I need to rotate them. Only Angel X with that raiding party. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for this raid. Look at all those great emotes. What were you? What were you streaming? Tell me about your stuff. Hope. I mean, spelling out the word hope sounds like a trap. And thank you for that resub, only Angel X. Three months. <laughs> we were learning about fighting games and exciting but inappropriate costume choices. Well, that sounds like fun. Hmm. line up the four panels correctly, each one will display a letter of the alphabet. Alright, so I am probably supposed to spell out the word hope. Headset was off. <laughs> I was curious to what you were playing. What were you streaming about? Uh, and someone said there was a fighting game with some inappropriate costume choices? Poet Marmar, 
You've been gifted a sub by an anonymous gifter. Thank you, anonymous gifter. It doesn't really say... Yeah, I guess... Hmm. Stand four of these panels on the table and use the light from the candles to represent hope. So... We're likely... Yeah, we're gonna put them in the groove in front of the candles, so what we're likely trying to do is get it to spell the word hope uh, with the shadow. Um, which, if that's the case... I think this is the O. Wow, that's a lot of different fighting games. Very cool. Um... That might be right. This is an interesting one. Yeah. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Like, I have, I'm gonna have a hard time explaining this, so I hope this explains it. Yeah, there we go. The panels spill out the letters when the lights shine through. Hope flickers through. Because the candles don't. Yeah, we need to ignore the... <laughs> this is like, I can see it, but I can't really explain... Explain it. Like, you kind of need to... To, to see how the... Like, that would be a puzzle that would be a lot easier if you actually had the panels and you could put them in front so that you could be like, Oh, okay, the... You could see how the light comes through. As a as a puzzle like that, that's a lot harder. Oh, Marmar, thank you for that cheer. <laughs> Spells out the word hope. Could have got the answer without even coming into the room. That's strange, though. Where is it? What's the matter? We've solved the puzzle now. Shouldn't we be making our way to the next room? Not yet. After we solved the other two puzzles, we discovered a curious note, didn't we? Both times? Oh, that's... Yes, that gibberish? You think there should be another note? Most probably. Ah, here it is. It's there in tiny writing on the back of one of the panels. Look, Ernest, if you please. I was thinking the edge was going to be sunken down into the groove. Yeah, something like that. Would have made a little bit more sense. E-Block, thank you for that cheer. Hope, Hope's Peak. Hope's Peak Academy. Put Monokuma in late, you cowards. <laughs> be so. I'd play that game. I would. I would play uh, Danganronpa Professor Layton crossover. It'd be weird. But I'd play it. Rosenberg stone shone like a beacon of hope. A promise of wealth restored. The man thought that mercy was upon him. Until... Until? That's it, miss. The sentence is incomplete. Oh no. I really want to know what happens next. Hear that, Pip? Yes, the Rosenberg Stones. A beacon of hope. It's all too clear. Ah, so this is like... The Treachery Room is probably the one that kind of like is like, and this is what happened. We thought things were great, we found like a fortune, 
found a thing and then the bad thing happened. I hate to leave on a cliffhanger like this, but we're out of the running now. Yes, we failed to solve the puzzle, which means I've lost. For that reason, I'm out. So you all attempted the puzzle, but not all of you succeeded. Those who failed to solve, you've lost. You must now leave the room and follow the road to ruin. Those are the rules you all agreed to. Uh, a lot of talk about failure and losing, isn't there? Well, we did lose our fortunes. I won't let that stop me doing my job as mayor. Ah, uh, that's the spirit. Maybe it's time I let the business go anyway. I've always wanted to make my own movie. Come on. It's this way for us. I look almost pleased that they've lost everything. Well, I suppose if there's more to life than money, perhaps you wouldn't mind too much. Miss Layton, Cheryl, what's up, Pinstripes? Well, let's move on to the next room now, shall we? Ah, uh, yes, the next room. It's the last one, isn't it? Perhaps we'll finally learn what this puzzle game is all about. Let's get back to the hall, then. Good idea. Hope. again then. Let's see, which room should we try next? There's only one left. I know, I know. It's pulling your leg. It's the treachery then. Yes, let's go to the treachery. Last room has an altogether different feel to it, doesn't it? Such a welcoming name. Rather ominous. Well, might as well just go. Yep, let's go. Yes, I agree. To the purple door. The treachery room. I mean, the name of the game is uh, Layton's Mystery Journey, Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspiracy, which is kind of funny because I feel like it just relates to the one case. <laughs> More than the rest of that. Night, Only Angel. You have a good rest. Someone forgot to turn on the lights. All these portraits on the walls are very impressive. The room feels rather dejected with the toppled furniture and empty frames lying around. Oh, there's someone over there in the gloom. I can't make out who, though. There's only one of them left, but, you know. We're down to the last of the dragons, which means it must be Madame Dublis. Oh, yes, of course. How silly of me. How do I know if there isn't an overarching conspiracy? Uh, because... I feel like all of the other cases were more either kind of anime filler or... Um, that thing where it's just like, oh, this is here to introduce you to the characters. <laughs> Thank you for that cheery block. <laughs> Looks like the old great dame hasn't swatted us yet. No, not here. It's not here either. Why on earth is this wretched puzzle? I can't find it anywhere. She's snarling more than usual. Madame Dubly is considered the leader of the Seven Dragons. I imagine she's also the wealthiest of them, which means she stands to lose more than anyone else in this game. I expect that's why she's so determined. Hmm, I wonder. I think we should go and have a word along with you two. Hey, Vezon! How you doing? Let's talk to Onion Lady. Good evening, Madame Dooley. We're wondering where you disappeared to. Catriel, darling, how long have you been in this room? I thought as no one else had chosen it, I'd be able to find the puzzle in my own time, but no such luck. I mean, you've definitely had more time than every single other person. That's for sure. Markster, you've been gifted a sub by an anonymous gifter. Thank you, anonymous gifter. I'm starting to wonder if our elusive host hasn't actually forgotten to set up the puzzle in here. I doubt that's the case, madam. 
Yes, Lord Animus strikes me as a very particular person. I'm sure there's a puzzle in here somewhere. Oh, this is most vexing. I simply have to solve that puzzle. Solve all the puzzles and take possession of the Richmond fortune. Otherwise, I... I would break the promise I made all those years ago. Break a promise? Oh. Madame Dublay, it seems that you... It seems that all seven of you present here tonight have a profound connection to Lord Adamus and to Mr. Richmond himself. Oh, Catriel, darling, I'm not at liberty to speak of that. It is a secret that only the we dragons know. Oh, please forget all that. Help me locate this confounded puzzle. The party must go on. Well, okay, we'll help you look. Um... Start with the very obvious portrait. You like it too? Sorry, it's just there's something about this picture. I know what you mean. Oh yes, that old picture. It was one of Maximilian's favorites, you know. It's rather charming, isn't it? All those people holding hands around the flower like that. It was a symbolism he enjoyed. I believe he was always one for working together, hand in hand, towards a common goal. He liked helping his fellow man. Mr. Richmond always helped people? Did you know Mr. Richmond? Oh yes, Maximilian and my late husband were close friends. The lady's gonna end up with like six cats running a human suit. Or being six cats. Maybe. It doesn't really explain her pet lizard. It's such a shame that they're no longer with us. I didn't mean to bring up a painful memory for you. Oh, that's quite alright, darling. I'm very thick-skinned, you know. Alright, and then this picture. Beautiful picture, isn't it? Red petals, so vivid and bright. Rather like the simplicity, if only for one flower. There's something very enriching about taking in a painting like this, isn't there? Oh, you're an art critic. Don't be sarcastic, Cheryl. I have rather a lot to say about art, you know. A lot to say about a lot of things. Oh, wait, this picture. Go to rest now. I get it, you like the flower. No, it's the frame, I think. Oh, please don't start waxing lyrical about the frame now. Ah. Oh, look at that. It was upside down. It spun around when I pushed it. There must be some kind of mechanism behind it. Still, apart from spinning the picture, nothing much happened, did it? Wait, look at the other picture. I didn't really do anything. No, but check that out. Spin. It flipped over. And did I imagine it, or did that drawer just pop open as well? I think this just serves closer inspection. Yeah, the dog's been a bit of a, of a rude pup the whole game. A few weird panels of some kind in this drawer. I wonder what they're used for. Well, let's take a closer look. Anyone else having trouble seeing what it's supposed to be? Don't tell me. This is art? I don't know. Even from an artistic perspective, it doesn't seem quite right. I say, have you located the puzzle? Oh, I'm afraid not. Just an unusual picture. Hmm. Unusual indeed. Even as an abstract painting, it feels rather disjointed. Yeah, wait, disjointed? That's it. The picture itself is the puzzle. Definitely puzzling. No, no, the picture we're after. You gotta solve a puzzle. Acquired U.S. Thanksgiving brownies. Oh man, that's great. Any kind of brownie is a good brownie. Let's put this picture back together. Slide each of the pieces in the picture into the right position, then place the large piece outside of the picture into the empty space. Button. You can move the pieces around sliding them, you can't move them outside the picture, they cannot overlap or be moved through each other. I... Oh, it's a sliding block puzzle. I 
so I can't rotate these, can I? Cannot be overlapped or moved through each other. Ugh. It's counting the moves to be even more of a dick. No, it's 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 one of those things where at the end it'll be like, hey, you can probably solve this in like four moves. Did you know that? Isn't that cool? You should try that in, in your free time sometime. It'll be fun. will fit in. So I need Oh, that, that helped out a lot. That's a relief. That helped out a lot to, to throw that in there. Visualization puzzles are harder on 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 me. I, I need to like physically work with stuff. Oh somebody got turfed. There's seven of them in there too. I did it. Seven people turning their backs on someone. Look, now we've solved the puzzle, the picture's taken form. Appears to be a group of people all turning their backs on another. Gosh, perhaps it was better in pieces. Isn't there something written here? Oh yes, uh, in tiny letters on the edge of the frame. Seven snakes in the grass snatched the stones away, and treachery left the man to die in obscurity. Treachery? Sad as the image is, I fear it portrays the events of real life. To unite and to help one another is a wonderful thing, yet the truth is treachery and betrayal are ever present. People compete, people cheat, and people deceive. In the end, only the winners of this world find happiness. That may be true, madam, but it's a terrible thing not to believe in your fellow man. My dear boy, you're quite naive. Believe in no one but yourself. That's a lesson I've learned over the years, and it served me well. It's the basis of my enviable social status and my fortune. A gentleman once taught me, any means to an end if it serves your purpose. I've carried the maxim with me and practiced it to the letter in honor of my mentor. Which is precisely why I cannot afford to be beaten at this junction. juncture. And yet, it seems the room has claimed its victim. Right on cue. For the losers in the room, darkness awaits. Kindly leave along the road to ruin. Oh dear me, this is a calamity. I can't lose it all. I can't. I was planning to expand my empire outside of London, to reach every corner of the British Isles. But now... Try to remain calm, madam. I'm afraid the rules are the rules. Let's get you on the road to ruin now. I'll come with you. Don't worry. You will? But Miss Slayton, you don't have to go that way. Only losers have to leave. The truth is, I got that last puzzle wrong as well. So for that reason, I'm out. What? Miss, you got it wrong? Yes. So I have to follow the road to ruin as well now. Good luck! With, with the rest? Thanks. 
I feel like she's just saying that so that she can go into the back. I guess she didn't technically solve the puzzle, it was one of the others. Sure, whatever. Yeah, if it was Ernest of the end screen, then he was probably the one who technically did it. I saw it's very dark brown down here, isn't it? It feels more uncomfortable underfoot. I would have thought a carpet would have been laid down at the very least. Well, shall we be walking this way? We should join the others. Hey, wait. Sorry, was that you calling out? No, I didn't utter a word. If my ears weren't deceiving me, I could have sworn I just heard a dog bark. Ah, I see. It's me! Oh, Cheryl, what are you doing here? This way seemed more exciting. What about Ernest? A master of espionage like me can slip down here unnoticed, but if Pinstripes tried it, Adamus would be onto us straight away. So I didn't tell him, I just slipped away. A master of espionage? Well, I guess I'm impressed. So, spill the beans. You've got a plan, haven't you? Of course I do. Come on then, what have you got in mind? This Richmond court is hiding a secret, I'm sure of it. Being out of the running in the puzzle game gives me a chance to explore. As plans go, that's what I've come to expect from you. Still, I suppose I can help you look for the secret. Ah, my trusted canine companion. Let's start looking for clues. Remember our motto, any mystery solved. Got a hint coin. There's an opening here. I guess for ventilation? Hmm, goes a long way back. Might even connect to somewhere else in the building. Could you swing a cat in there, do you think? Even if you could fit, there's a metal grill just inside. Might be able to persuade that to move. No chance. Don't give up so easily. You're not seriously going to try to pull that thing out, are you? You're not going to beat me, Grill! We did it! Secrets! We can climb in there now. You're stronger than you look. It's old and bent already. Anyway, who cares about what we're doing? Let's go in! Wait for me! Good gracious, I couldn't possibly. I mean, I literally couldn't possibly. I'll just proceed around the miserable passageway alone. Hmm, where are we now, I wonder? Well, this is a pretty impressive room, especially coming from that tunnel we just crawled through. So many books, it's like a little library. Perhaps this was Mr. Richmond's study. Hmm, there's something different about this room. The other rooms we've been were well looked after. It's dusty, full of cobwebs. What a mess. Worse than your desk. Thank you. Anyway, look at all these curious bits of machinery on the floor. It looks as if someone's been using this room as an office and workshop. I wonder if... Oh, just give me a minute. Where are you going? Getting something. I just went to check the door to the room. It was locked from the side. I've unlocked it now. You mean it was locked from the inside? Presumably somebody didn't want anyone else coming in here. Who though? Adamus, you think? I don't know. But perhaps we can find something in here that gives us a link between Mr. Richmond and the mysterious Lord Adamus. Let's look around. Alright, let's start with the weird machinery. Oh, we found a hint coin. Hey, Dracus. Ah, look, there's some letters here. Who are they addressed to? Let's see. G. Dublé, P. T. Barnun, P. 
Low on Dia, L White, G Sloan, C Chance, M Full Hold. The seven Dragons. Let's see. I, Maximilian Richmond, will never absolve you of your guilt. One day I will take back what is rightfully mine, everything that you stole from me. They appear to be letters written by the late Mr. Richmond. They can't be. He died ten years ago. Didn't he? Well, it's true. These letters don't look like they were written that long ago. Who wrote them then? I don't know. Not yet. It is becoming increasingly undeniable that the Seven Dragons have some dark history with Mr. Richmond. Ha! Ah, some writing on the wall. Someone's graffitied the wall, wall in a room. I don't think it's graffiti. Ernest, would you read it out? He's not here. Oh, right. Ah, uh, sorry, force of habit. You always have Ernest do everything for you. Yeah. He won't leave. Maybe if I make him do enough things, he'll leave. Dracus, you've been gifted a sub from an anonymous gifter. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Well, I suppose I'll have to do it myself, then. Deep under the ground of the Rosenberg, a great treasury lay. A beacon of hope until treachery ruined it all. What do you think? You're the detective. Well, it contains the name of each of the four rooms we had to go into. Rosenberg, treasury, hope, and treachery. So you think this is where Adamus got his inspiration for naming the rooms? Possibly. I think he's trying to tell us something. Or rather, I think he's trying to tell the Seven Dragons something. These mysterious books. Emblems on the spines look familiar. Same symbols that were on the doors. Mm, a mountain, a gemstone, a torch, and a sword. And just those four books look like they're sticking out a bit. Yeah, suspicious. Perhaps they operate some kind of mechanism. Oh, I probably have to... What was the order of that? in the wall it moved the ram's head stonework as yes, it revealed something papers of some kind dated 10 years ago before mr. Richmond's death hey we've discovered something of a revelation here Cheryl if what it says in these pages is true the Richmond fortune is Hmm. We need to investigate to find out whether this information is reliable or not. Hmm. Pinstripes would have let me see. Ah, clue. Clue that... of a thing that the game wouldn't tell us for some reason. Clear link between them and the dragons. Phone's very old fashioned, isn't it? Hello? Hello? Oh, the line's connected. It is? But this place hasn't been lived in for years. Why would you have. Why would, why would the phone be hooked up? It's clear that somebody's been using this place. A 
According to all the urban legends, this place has been deserted since Mr. Richmond's death. Rumors are that it's haunted. But far from ghosts walking these corridors now, it would appear somebody very real has been inhabiting the palace. Rumors are like tumors. They spread fast and do no good. Well, it's certainly worth remembering that not everything people say is the truth. From what we've discovered in here, it seems very likely that someone has been using this place recently. We still don't know who, though. Adamus, is it? Probably. Of course, something else we've learned. Mr. Richmond clearly had some dealings with the Seven Dragons ten years ago. Oh yes, the Seven know something, alright. Still don't get who Adamus is, though. Is he connected? That I don't know yet. I feel like he might be Mr. Richmond. But if he was really located the Richmond Fortune, then I think it's safe to assume they must be connected. He's either Richmond or, like, somebody, like, a, a family relation that maybe people didn't know about. It's the only thing that would make sense. So, how about we carry on exploring the other rooms? Perhaps we'll find a hint that gives away the true identity of Lord Adamus. You want to snoop around some more? And you do realize we can't possibly cover every room in a place this size, don't you? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, also I just need to make a phone call. You're gonna use the phone? Who are you calling? I just remembered something important that I need to arrange. Don't worry about it! Mm, she's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. There, all done. You should have heard the reaction when I told them I was calling from Richmond Court. I can imagine. So, let's go explore some other rooms. Apparently, I made a phone call. Just for that reason? Or that's gonna be a thing later? Who knows? Let's go explore the room across the hall. Calling the police? Oh, I mean, that would be a great idea. This room seems kind of different. Isn't it adorable? Looks like a little boy's room. It just looks like a little- just looks like a room to me. I guess there's some kid stuff, so... It looks like a kid's room. E block. Hey, thanks for that cheer. We are the police. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't imagine we'll discover anything earth-shattering in here. But still, we could have a quick look. Uh... There's a set of books on the desk here. The top one is about animals. Oh, and there's a name. Hmm, Miles Richmond. Miles? Perhaps Mr. Richmond's son? Or more likely grandson? Judging by the reading material and other things on the desk, I'd say Miles was a great animal lover, fond of toys. And that, what exactly does this have to do with the case? I'm a lot of little diversion every now and then, aren't I, Cheryl? Now, if you want to work out the connection between the Richmond Fortune and Adamus. Now, if we're done here, let's sniff around in another room. Mm, Alright. Oh, hey, that's strange. What, the lump in the middle of the desk? Wouldn't help your handwriting, that's for sure. It's a puzzle! It was just hidden from view. You know we can't leave now, Cheryl. We have a puzzle to do. <laughs> Ernest is the right flair to the Richmond fortune. That's uh, not a bad guess. There are some sad-looking animals scattered on the table in this children's room. Can you place the animal pieces in the frame on the table to complete the puzzle? Slide the pieces to move them. Place them in the frame. They don't overlap. You can also rotate them. Of course I can rotate them. Because that would make this the harder part. Okay.
quite like that. Maybe instead of that one, this one. There we go. Got there. Mm, this should do it, I think. And that's how it's done. See, when they let me slide everything around and do whatever I want, I can get there. Well, I have to visualize everything, and it's just like, uh, it's just, uh. Oh, hey look, a drawer opened. Well, that's unexpected. Completing the puzzle opens the drawer. Interesting desk. What's in the drawer? An old book about an explorer, by the look of it. Presumably this was a favorite book of Miles if he kept it in the special puzzle locked drawer. What is it, cat? The book. Lord Adamus. I I think I know who <laughs> The drawer was always unlocked. Oh no, we've solved the mystery. I've worked it out. I know who Lord Adamus really is. You do? I do indeed. Who is it? Well, if you haven't mastered sit, now would be a good time, because the truth is, ladies and gentlemen. Not now, Adamus. The party is over. Would the losers kindly make their way back to the hall? I would like to get a good view of you all. Now that you've lost everything! Ha 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 ha! Back to the hall now? He's worse than a sheepdog, the way he's hurting everyone around. Don't worry, it suits the situation perfectly. I'd like to speak to everyone anyway. Time to reveal the truth behind this puzzle-solving party. So, we are all together again. In other words, we all failed. So what? Every one of us has to give up our fortunes. Every last penny. It, it is simply beyond the pale. Well, I for one have no regrets. I went into this with my eyes open after all. And only one covered. Yes, yes. I'm with Mayor Loanida. Ah, Cat, you're back too, huh? Good. Miss Layton, thank goodness you're all right. You have me terribly worried. Worried? About what? So, you were all defeated by my puzzles. That concludes the contract nicely. You're ruined. Utterly ruined. <laughs> to be the bearer of bad news, but those contracts are all null and void. Null and void? What ah. dickens are you all doing here? I think she did actually call the police. Inspector Hastings, what, what are you doing here? Ah, thank you for coming, Inspector. You're right on cue. Come on, Kate. What's going on? I can't believe... Why have you called me here? I can't believe in a detective series somebody actually called the police. I fully intend to explain everything, and I'd like you to be a witness to what transpires here. A witness? I'm not nicking anyone, then. Cat, are you saying you... Confined this mystery to history? Indeed I have. In fact, I've solved all the mysteries connected with this palace. Huh? Perhaps we should start by identifying the one common factor that links the seven of you. All of you were at one time members of a diamond mining concern, weren't you? Okay. And you struck the jackpot. In fact, it's the money from those diamonds which formed the basis of all your fortunes and allowed you to succeed in your respective business ventures. It's what made you all who you are today. The trouble is... What if your diamond mine was actually on Richmond property? Are you making all this up, Cat? 
If Richmond turned out to be the rightful owner of the mine, all seven of you would automatically be ruined, of course. Wow. It would seem that the mastermind behind tonight's escapade, Lord Adamas, that is, is in some way connected to Richmond. And moreover, that he's intent on exacting revenge on those who robbed him of his wealth. Cat, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. The place we uncovered the diamonds definitely wasn't on Richmond land. Is that so? Or is that just what you all like to tell yourselves? Huh, don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous? Isn't that just what this whole puzzle party is? Yes. Yet you all agreed to take part. Was that to appease your own guilt? The truth is, you're taking part in this charade under duress, isn't it? I, uh... Why don't we move on to the real puzzle about tonight's proceedings? The identity of our host, Lord Adamas. Certainly a rather exceptional character. You can say that again. The self-confessed multi-millionaire Adamas is really... What? <laughs> Honest griefs. No more deceit. Pinstripes? Nice. Miss Layton, what are you talking about? How could you possibly think I was... Oh, what's the use? No doubt you figured everything out anyway, haven't you? Yes, it's true. I am Adamas. Be a mongrel's uncle. You're really the last surviving member of the Richmond line, aren't you? The eighth grandchild of Maximilian Richmond, Miles Richmond. You decided to use the urban legend of Richmond that rose up here in London as a means to take revenge on the seven dragons here tonight. Come on, pinstripes. Tell me she's barking up the wrong tree. Goodness me. Can he really be that young boy? Ha ha! Yes, it's all true. You've hit the nail on the head as usual, Miss Layton. But how did you know? How did you know it was me? Because of this! Where did you...? It was in your old room, Miles. Ernest Shockleton, Surprise Explorer by Richard Greaves. Oh. The origin of your assumed name, if I'm not mistaken. I think that is something actually that got brought up in an earlier case, now that I think about it. The the Surprise Explorer by Richard Greaves. Or him mentioning Richard Greaves by name. And all around this palace are little telltale signs of your duplicity. <sighs> How could I have made such an elementary mistake? And after I was so careful to dispose of all the portraits and photographs as well. I must say though, Ernest, you've excelled yourself preparing all these puzzles for everyone. But they were too easy to outsmart you, weren't they? I just cannot understand why someone as intelligent and good-natured as you would pursue such a worthless folly as revenge. You do realize that means that he solved that one puzzle just so that we didn't solve all the puzzles? So that we also failed? even though we're technically not somebody who is taking part. I know. I know that revenge is pointless. But I did it anyway. But it was for Mama. I promised her. Your mother? When my grandfather went bankrupt, Mama was left with nothing. We had no one to turn to. Not a soul. But Mama moved heaven and earth to keep me safe. Mama! Miles, I'm so sorry, darling. For you to have to suffer like this, but none of it is your fault. Don't worry. I'm quite all right, Mama. There's so much I wanted to show you. But we're practically destitute. And now I'm ill, too. I'm so sorry. Mama, I don't mind. I just want you to get well again. Yes, me too. But you know, Miles, you can be strong even on your own. <clears throat> Mama, I'm going to get it back. I'll get it all, I promise. I'm going to make them return it all. Every last thing they stole from us. 
I swear, one day, when I've made something of myself, I'll get them back for what they did to us. Oh, my. I... Mama! And, and then she fell into the river? Like, did you guys go yeah, somewhere? Boy. I guess something else happened. Sure. In the end, it, all the stress and exhaustion, it was too much for her. I was only 12 at the time when I had to say goodbye to her forever. But I swore then I'd keep my promise to take revenge on those who had wronged our family. So it was a promise. That's what drove you to these lengths. I had to see it through. I couldn't let her down, you see. But do you really think this is what she would have wanted? I, uh... Okay. I hate to interrupt the art to art, but Ernest Greaves, I mean, Miles Richmond, I am placing you under arrest. And it looks like I'm gonna need to have a chat with all you dragons as well. I've... I never thought the lot of you would be criminals. I mean... This, if this all happened like 10 years ago, there, it might not matter. I don't know what the statute of limitations is in fictional Professor Leighton Land world, but given that we forgive everyone for everything, it can't be very long. Oh, no. Now, now, Inspector Hasty. I think there may be another explanation. Uh huh. I. I wonder who the diamonds really belonged to at the end of the day. I'm more confused than when I found out I was a dog. After all, everyone, the Earth's riches belong to us all, don't they? Uh... Sure. Sure. What are you on about? Cat, you're starting to sound like a hippie. <laughs> Just <laughs> shove out of my way. You were right, Catriel. Ten years ago, the land had already been repossessed. Maximilian Richmond had no further rights on the mine at that time. How's that? He failed to pay the tax levied on the land and lost his claim to it as a result. He must have kept the fact a secret so he could claim the diamonds from the mine were rightfully his. Shortly after that, however, he died. Uh huh, okay. So you're saying the diamonds are nobody's? It wasn't these seven ladies and gentlemen who stole the diamonds from Richmond. If anything, it was the other way around. Uh, sure. What? Whatever. Yes, that's as I thought. Thank you for investigating for me, Emiliana. I didn't do it as a favor to you. As I've told you countless times, hard data is the quickest way to solve any case. <laughs> I'll try to bear that in mind. So, it's like I said. The Earth's riches belong to us all. The diamonds were nobody's. Ah. Uh... Nope, not so gonna. Just gonna keep going. Couldn't have stolen them. It's gonna keep going. But that... That means all we're looking at here is the antics you've been up to, Sunshine. I just don't understand. How could it be that way? Mama would have... Your mother knew, of course. Somehow. No. Probably. Ernest. Don't you see why she didn't tell you that you had it wrong? Why she didn't tell you the truth? No. Don't you think maybe it was to give you a focus? Isn't that what's kept you going all these years? Ah. Uh... I... I think your mother let you believe in this idea of revenge to give you strength, knowing that you'd have to face life alone. Sure. Trusting that as you grew up, you would see the folly of it and eventually forget the idea. Or that maybe you'd just get bored and not do it. I guess. I. Maybe he'll just get bored and he'll forget. Listen, darling. You must. Follow your heart, don't waver. 
If you keep listening to what your heart tells you, I'm sure you'll see the light in the end. I'll make them all pay, Mama. I will. I'll make them all pay. I swear. I know, my darling boy. But please don't forget. First, you have to grow big and strong and make a man of yourself. I will. He'll just get bored, I'll right? I'll be as big and strong and important as any of them. You'll see. This is not a good story. This is kind of actually disappointing. That's my boy. You. Live your life, Miles. Make your mama proud. Show them all. What a great man you can be. So this mean, is just weird. She never really wanted me to. No. Apparently not. I didn't see it. And now look what I've done. Oh, how could I have done something like this? Ernest. I'm sure you have made your mother proud. I'm sure you're just the man she hoped you would be. In but you kept doing the way. thing you think she did. She loved you. Mama, forgive me. Forgive me for not seeing what you meant. Uh huh. Well, okay. Cheer up, Ernest. Remember, the dragons have actually done nothing wrong. And I think you too can be considered blameless. Because hey. why not? Blameless? Isn't that Please. a bit of a stretch? Come on! What about all this palaver? The threats? The conniving? The intent to completely ruin these poor Yeah, those people. are all very good Can points. you say he's blameless? Pull the other one. <laughs> well, take a look at that. See, Inspector? Hey? Uh, they don't care. Cat? What do you mean? Well, I... I don't... Oh. And... Darling boy, we've been looking for you all these years. For me? Yes. We're all very much indebted to Lord Richmond, you see. Uh-huh. It was thanks to him that the Whoa. diamonds were discovered at all. Aye. He knew if he were the legal owner of the mine, any money he made would disappear on repaying his debts. So, he relinquished his claim on the land deliberately and arranged for us to discover the diamonds. He was a wise man. He saw the diamonds as so he London's was a future. He did not want the money squandered on personal loans. Okay. It was for you to use. Sure. He wished it as an investment for the city. You know what? If this makes Ernest leave me alone, whatever. That doesn't tie in. See, I thought he tried to reclaim his right to the mine. No. We tried to return the mine to Richmond. Without the money from the diamonds, the family faced certain ruin. We wanted to help. We couldn't bear to see the family fail. We tried desperately to save him by giving the mine and the diamonds back. But he steadfastly okay. refused. No. We have heavy hearts knowing that we failed you. Uh -huh. And I invented the Richmond legend. I couldn't bear for that great family to be associated with financial ruin. So I concocted a story about a great fortune hidden somewhere sure. in this old house. Whatever makes you feel happy. So now you see, my dear. Everyone was extremely fond of your grandfather. This means Ernest will leave me forever though, right? I'm willing to keep up with this weirdly oh, no. not good story what if Ernest leaves me done? forever. <laughs> right? That's my, that's my reward, right? We all came here today in the knowledge that Miles must be behind this puzzle party. But none of us ever suspected that it was you, Ernest. I had no idea about it. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. Miles. Let's start afresh. Yes. 
Your grandfather and your mother would have wanted that. Your old They're all your new friends and you're gonna leave me alone forever. Thank you. Come, my boy. That's what I get for this awful now story. I look, the resemblance is striking. You're right. I don't know why any of us didn't see it before. I just don't so, care. Are you still going to arrest him? No, we don't arrest no people in this world. Inspector to have been harmed by Ernest. Hmm. All right. <laughs> now, why ever are you still crying, dear boy? <laughs> I'm just so happy. Well, cat, I've got to hand it to you this time. I didn't see any of that coming. We're never going to solve the dog. You really did teach an old dog new tricks. You should know. The truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs> uh-huh. Roll credits? Not quite. So, Lord Adamus's puzzling little party came to an end, as did the vengeful thoughts he'd so long harbored for the dragons. But Ernest will always be Ernest to me, not Miles Richmond, in which case he's annoying. And I've insisted he can- I don't know why I insisted that. I told him to leave. The bins don't empty themselves, or something. Nope. I will learn to do things on my own. So, together with Cheryl, I'm going to continue to solve London's mysteries, but not with him. Ugh. That's just it. We got a talking dog because he wanted to know why he was a talking dog and we don't even do a single thing to try and figure that out. We have to deal with Ernest still for some reason. That last case happened. I don't even... I thought the case where it was like, oh, gotta go find a gift for the inspector's wife was bad. Because it was just kind of like a filler anime episode. But this one was worse. This was actually worse. Maybe the talking dog mystery is in side quest stuff? Uh, not likely. Latent games don't really work that way. Like, there's puzzles and stuff you can find, but as a story element, it wouldn't have been like that. This was just. <sighs> Why do you have to give me a really cool, cute character and then make a really bad story around it? Could have, we could have had something good. I had many great character designs. Some... Some things. I guess I could do... I guess I could do that, so we see more of what... Like, I think, I mean, some of the puzzles are kind of what I expect for kind of late esque puzzles, from what I've seen. It's the, it's actually just the plot I have a huge problem with. Not to mention everything's super disconnected, like, most of these plots are just so that they can establish some characters so that they can do this last thing without having to establish all of those characters in that point, which, sure. No, like ugh. why is her outfit in the cutscene different from her outfit in the detective sections? Uh, we could uh, we were able to change her outfit as part of the thing. So the um, the cutscenes were already what they were, and then the outfit had for the model was was a thing. So that's. That's, that's, that's more like a game thing. Um, they shoved in that dumb decorating thing, which has just changed the colors of the couch more than anything else. Even though it makes it sound like you can get different couches. 
And that I kind of take issue with. Like, that kind of feels like a just don't bother thing. The clothes were fine. I was okay with that. I think it was cool that you could change outfits. Um... I don't know. I know there's I know there's an anime series for this, um, but I didn't really watch past I think the first two episodes because it was kind of boring. Yeah, I'd give this game like a like a five out of ten. the Doug really talk, or do Ernest and Catriel just speak Doug? Uh, Ernest and Catriel were the only ones who understood him. Um, the dog, the dog seemed more or less interested in why he could talk and why he was a dog, which kind of suggested kind of like the Detective Pikachu thing, but then they didn't do anything with it, so it kind of felt more like a... We need to give them some sort of a sidekick for some reason. And so I guess, I guess we'll, we'll give them this dog who can talk. How do we justify that? Uh, this way, I guess. Sure. Good enough. It's not like that's important. Oh. <laughs> Miss Layton, look at all Whoa. the snow! <laughs> oh right, we did this on like Christmas Eve or something, didn't we? Well, the agency has been open for a month now. We did that all it's in a month? It's been start, but still no That was all in a month? Whereabouts. The mystery of We're the missing busy. professor. Still not history. So he is missing. <laughs> well, knowing Dad, Nobody would talk is, about it. he'll be engrossed in some extraordinary puzzle. I'm sure you'll find him. This is the first time yes. we've got confirmation that he's actually been... I won't been rest until I do. ...missing. But you don't strike me as a daddy's girl cat. It just doesn't seem like you. I'm not. I just have to tell him I've solved the riddle he sent me, you see? A riddle, miss? No. What riddle would that be, then? It's this. If you're not really my child... Then who exactly are you? I'm sorry. That's a weird bombshell to drop. What? Okay, that's clearly supposed to be the sequel draw, I guess. Congratulations, you did a thing. Although you've reached the end of the story, there might be some puzzles you missed, so you could go back and do them if you want. Various extras have been added to the top secret area of the bonuses section, in accordance with the number of pickets you've picked up. Milestone puzzle playroom has been added. Uh, sure. all the puzzles I found. Um, no, you know, just don't care. Don't care that there are extras. They're not on the bulletin board at all, are they? There's just... Yeah, just the different cases. Yep. Do not care. That is... That is it. We're done with this game. It's done, and we're not doing it anymore. <sighs> oh, the whole thing with, um... 
the I guess basically the idea was uh, the the entire like um, marketing for this game has been like oh this is clearly Professor Layton's daughter and whatnot. Uh, it doesn't say that anywhere in the thing, but you know, every everyone everyone she talked to seemed to believe that that was a thing, and so she's not his daughter, and everyone's like, gasp. It's not a good game. Ah, expected much more from this. All right, so we're not playing this game anymore because we're uh, we're done. Um, with it. Um, I guess, I mean, we're done, so we don't have to play it anymore. That's great. She still called him dad. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna, so, uh, for the regular evening streams, we're still, uh, we're still continuing on with, uh, Paper Mario. And with the morning streams, we're going to be going on to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. We'll be starting that on Sunday. So our next stream for uh, tomorrow, which will be 3.58, sure, is uh, Paper Mario. We're starting at 9. Jordan's on. Cool. We'll go. We'll go raid Jordan. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna keep playing Paper Mario. We're gonna move on to Let's Go Eevee on Sunday, and our Saturday game is still Scribble Knots. Tomorrow's stream 9 p.m. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much uh, for hanging out today, lurking, chatting, uh, all of us pulling our hair out over some really terrible things within this game, and I will, uh, I'll see y'all later. Thank you very much for all those, uh, gift subs as well, and the cheers, too. I'm gonna take us to the going offline screen, and then we're gonna go raid my friend Jordan, who is working through some Kingdom Hearts stuff in anticipation of Kingdom Hearts 3 in January, which I know he's very excited about. I've not really played a lot of Kingdom Hearts myself. But the characters are interesting, so we'll go do that. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. You take care now. Don't, uh, I don't know, maybe throw puzzles in people's faces when they ask you questions. That seems to be the rule of the land. It's not a good rule, but hey, take care.